I just realized that was a little louder than I probably really wanted that to be. Sorry about that. Let me adjust that real quick. Does it fit with her? I mean, it doesn't fit with her. It's one of the main songs I would expect to hear with her in the background. How could you? Oh, no. How could you is already in here. This is scary. Look, I've learned your tricks, how could you? Don't make me steal your katana. I'm gonna steal your katana. Give me one second, guys. I'm just getting the music handled real quickly. Hopefully I'm loud enough. Uh, Is this better? Alright, alright. Uh, let, me, let me see if you, how you guys are about this one. A. B. A. B. Let me see what you guys would prefer here. So, while I'm waiting for that, how's everyone been? Hopefully you guys found some pretty good uh, stuff out of the um, that short little video I did. B. There's an echo. Oh no. Oh, there's not much of an echo. Yeah. Cardioid's facing correctly. So. Okay, looks like everyone's saying B, except for Lunar, who said Z for some reason. So. Anyway, that's not too bad. How's your week so far? It's been pretty good. Not too crazy, but, uh... Of course, Arknights has been a little bit, uh... It's been a bit... It's been something so far. Uh, felt a little rushed getting everything set up, and... Hopefully, everything is where we would like it to be. Wait a minute, we can now clip- Yes, you can now clip my stream! I- uh, Oh no. <laughs> so, um, so I know some people probably are asking about the PR. Uh, where is... So. Let's see if we have so much oil. Uh, did you just actually see? I don't actually have, uh, I'm not over cap right now. It's a shock, isn't it? I've been working on champagne pretty heavily, so... I actually just unlocked her recently, so <laughs> I think it was about two, maybe a week and a half ago, and I'm pretty happy with where I am so far. I'm already at 30% here, and she's almost done, which is pretty nice. Uh, as for PR1, getting there. I think I've already spent the uh, things today. Yeah. So as you guys can see, you can use coins now for these, which is amazing. Uh, I think you get two for free. Like you can just buy, you can just, well, quote buy unquote <laughs> uh, prints, uh, a few prints that are just they just give it to you for free. So uh, thanks to that, uh, Rune is now a full fate sim, and Ibuki is probably six. I want to say about six prints away from. Actually, let's find out. Five. She's five away. So we're getting there. Yeah, the first 15 are discounted. That is true. So I am definitely powering through these characters now, which is nice. Uh, almost all of them are at dev 30. Sun, Sun Ruby is a little bit behind, but it's not going to take that long because I'm going to be focusing heavily on uh, giving her all of the discounted ones. Which PR ship should you go for first? Uh, that really depends on who you have. I would definitely say that's going to depend on uh, what characters you have available. I don't remember what the requirements are now because it's been a little bit of time since I've grinded some of these characters. I'm just going to... I mean, it's pretty obvious. Eagle, Van Eagle Vanguard, Eagle Main Fleet, Sakura Empire, uh, Vanguard. Was this one the one that was both? I don't actually remember. I think that there was one of them that was weird. It was both. Or maybe it was either both or it was, uh... Maybe I'm getting confused with just all, so all, all main fleet. 
I forget Ozuma's uh, setup. But it really depends on who you have. That's really the core thing I'm trying to get sent home here. Um, current... Hmm. Friedrich's probably the powerhouse of the six. If I had to say anything, to be honest. Um, although, getting a, getting a decisive to dev 30, and also if you're going to go for the fate sim... Uh, have fun with that. <laughs> That's gonna take a lot of time. Um, that's gonna take a bit, but it really it really does come down to who you have available and who would be easy for you to get. Mm. Oh, voice crack there. Who, who would be easy for you to get unlocked and get going? Um, so if you have a lot of eagles, I would probably say Seattle or Georgia first. If you have some good Sakura Empire characters, then either Azuma or uh, Kitakaze. If you got a good of the if you got a good enough amount of the this particular faction, go for Gasken. Or if you've got a good amount of Iron Blood. Friedrich is never a bad choice either. So, that is what I would say. I know people have been asking this question, so let me go ahead and get this one out of the way. So, currently, I'm at a kind of a bit of a three-way tie with who I would consider first for PR4. So they're going to be Anchorage, um, August von Parsifal, or Marco Polo. Marco Polo is kind of getting a little bit of bias because I'm like, I kind of want a reason to use my... Uh, Italians? Though actually, Iron Blood counts too, so that's kind of funny. <laughs> so, Oh yeah, I think some people have their uh, first PR4 already, huh? Probably not going to be high dev, level, high dev levels, but uh, could probably be... I just realized she's got this mask here. I just realized she has that. Oh god. Um, Anchorage <laughs> is a child stuck in an adult body. She does seem pretty adorable. So, who do I like the most out of the PR, new PR girls? I don't know. I haven't really dove into their personalities or lines yet. Haven't really had the time to dig into them too much. Um, I do kind of like the... If we're talking kits, though, I think Anchorage has a pretty solid... I like the smoke screen and the evasion advantages she gets, which is kind of interesting. Not sure how to feel about this. And I think she was the slow? Mark, Mark, Mark. No. Is she the slow? Yeah. She is the slow. Which is kind of nice. <laughs> Probably going to be a bit more reliable than Peter, sadly. I guess I can go for Georgia. Fair enough. That'll work. You got your anchorage yesterday. Nice, fate. Some people are mental in the XP grind. I don't know how they do it. If you got the oil, you can... And you know... If you got the oil, you got the characters leveled... And you got the map you want to use, go for it. It's really, like, if you've got everything set up correctly, it's not going to be that hard for you to knock this out very quickly. Or even the two mil. That's not the two mil. Um, the two mil. For sure, the decisives may take a bit of time. I think that the, I think she's a decisive. I remember probably she's 1.2. Yeah, 1.2 and 2.4 are a little bit more, but not too bad. Hey, Jaded. It's been a while since, you last, since I streamed. Yeah, it, it was, I think it was like, what, two weeks ago since I've streamed AL? But better than the slow itself is active 2.5 seconds after this launch day strike. Yeah. When you got everything, you just gotta send it. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah. Hopefully that helps you uh, figure out who you want to do, Gilded. I think you said you were going to go for Georgia, so best of luck. And uh, have fun with those Eagle main fleets. Definitely good to get them leveled, too, because there's some pretty good ones there. 75% slow, so much RNG. Eh, it's not as bad as, like, the 15 every roll. Or the, the what is it, the quick takeoffs that are, like, 15 uh, rolls each time. But yeah. I think it's going to be a three-way tie, though, Animo, between... Uh, between all of the PR... Oh, I need stuff. I'm gonna hold on the oil for now. I don't know how much I'm gonna use today. Here, let's just keep shuffling between these. Why not? Perfect. Wait, what? How did I lose a thousand? There we go. This is happy. Lots of whole shul Yeah, that would definitely work, too. Uh, no one... Okay, yeah, she's able to stay there. But yeah, it's between Marco Polo, um... Just even trying to remember the names off the top of my head. Ah, Anchorage and uh, 
August One Parcel. Those are the three I'm kind of deciding between with, with the PR Force. Fuso getting a secretary quest line. I don't mind it. She's a good girl. I, I definitely would like to see more of it. I'll probably do that one of these days, though. Does Cheshire like the box? Kinda? Give your shit more beverages. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, uh, I am a bit behind on this. I've got- I have all of my challenge tickets, though. I've been kind of just hoarding as many of them as I can over, over the last couple of days. I've been doing mostly these, but when I am, am able to get on. So I'm a little bit behind on this. Uh, for those of you who don't have it yet, this is really a nice thing to get. Um, it is very limited, so you can't- not everyone can use it here, so only your CBs, your battleship and battle cruisers. well, even the battleships- battleships aren't gonna get as much of a benefit as a battle cruiser would. Uh, carriers can take it, aviation battleships can, and, but it's very limited who can equip it, but it does have some pretty nice advantages, so it is kind of worth getting, to be honest. Um, even the, the, the purple one's not too bad either. But if you, you should really try to get the gold. It's pretty good to go for. Especially for those of you who are using the, uh, CBs from here on forward. A uh, gear, I think is her name, for example. And Osli, uh, obviously Ozuma. So. Actually, I don't know if it's gonna be good on a gear. She's a heavy, she's a large cruiser, not a heavy cruiser. Sorry. Uh, she's a large cruiser, so it may be good. I don't know. I haven't really focused, looked at her kit too much to really see what she needs to be running. I haven't finished the 2 million XP grind for AVP. I am going to start the other PR4, which is a gear. Ah, nice. Would you put the VR, VH armor on hood? Um, you can? So, alright, one, one, alright, let me point this out real quick. So, one of the most important things to mention here is... If they're not a, a, a heavy armor type, it changes their armor type to heavy, which has its advantages and disadvantages. Um, obviously, for Hood's, uh, Hood's sake, um, her being a medium armor means that battleship uh, AP shots are going to hurt like crazy. It's part of the reason why War Spike can be pretty mean to Hood. <laughs> um, but if you switch it to heavy, yeah, it's still not the greatest multiplier, but it's still... Um, It'll help uh, mitigate damage a little bit. It's a, I think it's what, 110 to 120 for that barrage. Um, but no, usually people are going to throw it on large cruisers. I usually see it on Ozma, if anything. I actually don't know what Ozma starts at armor-wise. You know what, uh, let me go actually check that real quick. Uh, Vanguard, Saka Empire... Where are you? I've not really developed her at all, so don't be surprised if she's towards the bottom of the list. I... Oh yeah, here she is. Medium. I haven't used her much, huh? She had crush already. Wait, what? <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's it's a pretty decent item because it does like a large armor in the front, and the vanguard is going to be extremely tanky, except for torpedoes. So, keep that in mind. I actually don't know. Does Azuma still suffer severely from Sakura Empire torpedo memes? I mean, she's heavy armor now with that ar armor piece on, so it's going to hurt like a... Well, insert colorful word of choice here. <laughs> so let me go ahead and get these under the way. Uh, hmm. I guess the bigger question, chat. How do we want to bully Suruga? As mean as that is, I, it's kind of what's going to happen here. Yes, I'm not surprised. It's heavy armored on torpedoes. It's going to get completely obliterated. The torps are, 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 yeah, I know, Nate. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I didn't know. I haven't paid attention to her skill kit, uh, her skill set, so I don't know if she has like any damage mitigation against torpedoes or anything. If she does, that'd be amazing for her with the heavy armor. Steal her fake horns. <laughs> I hope in the future they release this again where she's actually showing her tanuki side rather than just the horns. I would love to see that. Stun and done. I was using stun and done. I'm doing hearts first, so we can completely meme with this loadout. 
I'm perfectly fine. This is like this is like half stun and done, half uh, right from the start. So, <laughs> get a French meme. Has a passive twenty percent, but as far as I know, Ozimbuck does not come with a built-in, with it built-in TR. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I've not used Ozima enough to really understand her. Uh, most of PR, I think most of PR2 I haven't really touched. The only one I've really started using is Georgia, because she's dev... She's high dev now. I think she's dev 20, actually. Still. She could just damage her taking for 15, and even... <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, I can just hear the angry uh, hipper noises. Alright, alright, alright. Let's have... Let's have some fun here. Do we... What? Is Pirate Squad playing a good fighter plane? The... Uh, oh, like the Jolly... Ro the one that gives Jolly Roger buff? Did it? It got reworked, didn't it? Like they uh, fixed it? Um... I think it should be much better now. It's good if you have multiple carriers, too. Because, like, usually if you have, like, a single, you probably want a more damaging fighter. But if you have multiples, the Jolly Roger does help. Bullying Suduga. <laughs> well, Hibber fell flat. Oof. You don't have a complete U boat fleet. Uh, it's not that I don't have a complete U boat fleet. It's more of I just don't. I haven't really focused on. I have a problem of not focusing on subs. So, like, there, there's a good number. Like, Dust Boot is probably the one that's the most leveled. Uh, I can. I actually have the coins to max limit break, and I probably have the SR bullions to do it, too. So I can get you one uh, one eleven uh, one eleven what one oh one and U ninety six. I don't know who the other. Sure, is it thirty seven? I don't know what the core three Iron Blood uh, Wolf Pack is. The problem is if I do use right from the start, all the torpedoes are going off of the subs into the uh, Vanguard. Italian preload fleet. Fair. I fully expect to have one week. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I, I would definitely would agree with that, with the one week until Idolmaster. 96, 47. Really? The lo the girl that's the girl that prefers to be alone? That doesn't seem right. Really? U81 makes sense. I kinda feel like it's 81, 101, and 96, isn't it? 96, 47, and 81. So that's boot. I don't know what her nickname is if she has one. And you. <laughs> it's not 101. It's not 101. Okay. Interesting. Is it 37? 37 for its skill. 101, 47, and 96. So really, the loner. 30 cent for lighter armor. Okay. I wonder if anyone's tried like a, an eagle, an eagle setup yet. I know there is a decent, uh, there's a decent uh, Sakura Empire one because Iroha, I19, and I think I13. Those three together are pretty good. Hey Travis, good morning. <laughs> Interesting way for you to wake up, I guess, to a stream. <laughs> So, but no, it's more of I don't really have a fully developed team yet. Because I just, I, I don't know. I haven't really focused on submarines as much as I should. So, okay. Uh, hmm. Do we, should we do rig from the start? Do we want to do rig from the start? If we do, tor if we do, subs are going to be absolutely useless. Because I have, I do not have enough torpedo aux auxiliaries for it. Like the uh, Oxytorps. <laughs> Richie, almost to the uh, 100 and getting to the close to the 120 club. One thirteen plus on Cavallo Ar uh, Archificient Albacore. Oh. Hey, the Gundy. The mix I saw recommended was Archificient. 
Call at 9.13. And full US is sub is in the green. Okay, fair enough. Hey, you Neko! Fair enough. Uh, you know what? Let's just see how stupid this is. We'll, we'll, we'll humor it. We'll humor it, chat. Though, to be completely honest, uh... I don't have an amazing alternative preloader besides Perseus, who really isn't a boss character. I guess I could try to gear her for boss? Which, Saduga's a heavy armor, so torpedo, uh, torpedo bombers will do decent. I just gotta get the right one on her. Hmm. I don't think I have any other preloader I can work with. That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> so okay, Ar we can argue. It's not a preload. It's not a preload, but it's close enough. <laughs> it's close enough. <laughs> yeah, Akula can have. Uh, Akula can have one if she's uh, got it equipped. I'm gonna slap this baby on her. <laughs> oh, this <laughs> slaps. Slabs auxiliary equipment. This hell you can fire very quickly, and someone says that's illegal. Mm. Sorry, New Jersey. I'm gonna let you borrow. I'm gonna borrow this for a bit. I need to. New Jersey. I need to borrow this. It's close enough. I'm not gonna be too upset about it. I think Prince of Wales has the quickest, like, non-preload. Oh yeah, the FUMO. <laughs> this thing literally just looks like a... a grill. <laughs> ah, yes, the, the satellite, or whatever this thing is. No, it's actually, it's, it's just a grill. Don't worry about it. It's nothing more than just a grill. But yeah, Prince of, Prince of Wales could be a preload, but I need three eagles, which kind of defeats the purpose of right to the start, because it's Top of the Sakura Empire. Alright, so, Noshiro. I have been. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, chat. Noshiro's kinda really warmed up to me. I actually kinda like her now. <laughs> it's kinda hard not to like her. She is a bit of a cinnamon roll. I am declaring this now. But yeah, it's not something I can really. Oh, right, me officers. Uh. Oh, I guess we can kind of take, still take advantage of Pound and Lime. I don't think they're faction specific too badly. A little bit, which is fine because we do have we do have uh, King George. All right, we are. Oh right, I'm just gonna throw this on you. <laughs> the subs are not gonna help here. There's really no reason for them to be here. to go <laughs> if the ship food get hungry. <laughs> Alright. Fire for no reason because we can. If the game volume is too loud, let me know, by the way. I've been adjusting it for recordings, per uh, recording purposes. It was too soft on one of my last videos. Oh, this is... They're on HE shells. I need to... Well, okay, Jinking George can't really help that. I need to get him off of that. If I really want to play this min maxing game. Oof. Uh, subs, go ahead. Smiling. You know me. You know me, smiling. Probably could one one this. Okay, I, I let's switch over to. Uh, well, JP can't switch either. Wow, I just realized both JB and King George, neither of them, they can't switch their guns. So Richie's the only one that can, I think, switch their gun. I, 
No, she can't. It's Ichi. None of them can switch their guns. <laughs> <laughs> None of them can switch. <laughs> because if I don't use HE, then we lose this. JB loses her advantage. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> JB loses it with uh, this one. And then King George needs it for uh, Hermit Optimization. <laughs> so I can't change this at all. That is a conundrum that I never thought we would have. I didn't have the- I can't really do anything about that, though. That's kind of the sad bit there. Alright. So, let's see. If I were to do bare minimum on this... I'd probably- if I had to pick, honestly, between... Could I 1-1? I probably could 1-1 this. I don't imagine not being able to 1-1 this. I don't have Honka for this, but Monarch could probably do. If I wanted to just 1-1 one, one this... <laughs> Should I go for Helena for the for the, the debuff she does? New Jersey? I could use New Jersey. She's not fully... Like, her skills aren't fully leveled, though. I don't know if that would help or not. Her... Well, I mean, her two yellows are leveled. Her red's still... In the pro in process. What are we thinking? I mean, we could meme. Let's, let's let's see how this goes. Well, this may not work, but I want to see. I mean, they, they have a huge level advantage. God, they're both almost about 5k apiece. Sandy SX best meme combo. By fire, be purged. New Jersey's definitely gonna bully. This may be a little slow, though. The ships have silver, <laughs> silver outlines. Question for you is why you bullies the Duke? Look, they make an event around her. I can't really help that. Ooh, the, no barrage. That's unfortunate. Oh, I forgot to bring HE or AP again. Oh, well, whatever. Actually, I probably need the HE. I don't think Helen is going to be able to do this on her own. This might be too slow, actually. Yeah, Reaper, I don't spin. So when I, uh, at the, so the books, I do one red, one yellow, and one blue, so I don't burn myself out of gold books quickly. I have not pulled yet on the Arknight's banner. I'm going to wait the five seconds here for the potential of an SG radar. SG. Yes. Barrage, please. Monarch, you're failing me. Monarch, you're failing me. Monarch, please. <laughs> Monarch, please. Helena is, do is literally setting this you up for this. Monarch, please. <laughs> Monarch, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, subs. We need help. <laughs> oh, finally. There you go. <laughs> Nice.
Danny. <laughs> Helena is like looking at Monarch. D d do the thing. Do the thing. Monarch's like, I don't feel like it. <laughs> Monarch's, Monarch's like, I don't feel like it. Helena's like, you. Could you actually. <laughs> what, what's, the, what's the new meme I've been seeing popping up everywhere? Yeah. Think, Monarch. Think. <laughs> the enemy's a heavy armor. Use your AP. <laughs> Oh god. Did you get Jinsu? How long did it take? Uh, it took a bit of time. I don't think it was too long, though. <laughs> this is why Helena turns meta. Oh no. Alright, Monarch, you've lost privileges. <laughs> Just for today. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> Horse Spite would be much better at it. All right. What we what do we feel, Jet? Anything? Seventy percent chance. I think so. It's not. It's like decently enough, but it's still, it's still low enough that it may never happen. <laughs> this is like what it, this is what I do to Enterprise when she never procs on stream. Uh, Sky, I don't think anyone's gonna do what you do, which is try to actually farm out multiple uh, Jinsu's repulse. Hmm. Yeah, sure. You know what? Let's try it. Let's see it. Oh, hey, Hawk. Hey, Lily. All right. Let's bring one other person. Ooh. Well, we're now on what level are you? You're in the 90s, aren't you? 82. Oh, you're 82. Right. I <laughs> I have not taken care of you at all. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say let's do Renown, Hood, and uh, Repulse together, but I was like, eh. So she's the best PR for her to start with at level 15. Oh, really? New Jersey. Okay, you guys just want to see New Jersey. You know what? Let's do it. Let's just do. Let's just have New Jersey in. Just bring New Jersey out. I gotta put some gear on her though. Cause I took it all off of her for uh Um King George actually. <laughs> no, let's just take it back and put it back on. It pins up the PR4 ships. Hmm. I do like how okay, so like um I, I haven't fully looked at all of their their skill sets. Anchorage has some pretty nice evasion stuff. Also, apparently she's viable at level 15, so that's really good. Um, means you can use her a lot quicker than probably most of them. Uh, August has that slow, which is kind of nice. Oh, I, got, I hope it's actually worth looking into. Give her the twin 134. The what? Give her the twin 134 AA gun. Do I even have that? Oh, this thing? For what reason? She's under leveled, so I kind of need the hit. Hawk the next day. Yeah, like I said, it's a it's a bit it's a thing I don't use much. Honestly, I probably shouldn't be using this either. But give FP. Eh. The hit matters more than the FP. She's under leveled. She's got some disadvantages against her. I think it's about 10 levels too, isn't it? Isn't it like a hundreds? That's crazy good accuracy. And I get, <laughs> I get, I forgot to put, well, eh, I probably should. I say that, then she does this. <laughs> I 
love the barrage out of nowhere. Probably one of my personal favorite things about her is just the, what is it? Isn't that the, like the Georgia barrage? Just minus the Georgia beam. Which ships you both with? Uh, a lot of them. I think I'm at 26. What was, what did you just do? You didn't do the debuff, but she didn't have the circle around her. Well, I mean, uh, well, that was a complete miss. That's just the case of her completely missing, though. Though, she, like I said, she does have le seven level uh, different difference here, so Suruga has an advantage. Not much of one, but it's still something. Let's see if this even works. Oh, I should hold this for a few more seconds. Come on, Helena. Believe in you. That's not the one I wanted, but okay, we'll take it. Yeah, this definitely not be working. Suruga may actually take out New Jersey before New Jersey takes out Suruga. That's just a problem. I may actually have to switch the gun. Hey, Prince. She's not standing still, so those, do those hits are missing. Alright, let's bring subs up. We're gonna need subs. I don't know. I have a minute to finish this. I only have 26. Yeah, only about 26. Yeah, this is looking a little. This is gonna be really close, chat. <laughs> you would, I guess we do need. New Jersey needs a little help. New Jersey needs a little bit of help, chat. Not fully geared yet. Oh, uh, you missed! There you go. Oh my god, you almost failed that. <laughs> That's the downside to not being able to hit all your shots. Whew, that was a bit closer than I would have liked. See, easy clap. Almost failed, got an A. <laughs> Okay, let me mix it. What is your reload right now? Auto 7. Yeah, you're fine. I thought, I thought it felt slow, but I was like, oh, no, it's probably just the gun. Then this yeah, 23. How much does it take to... Oh, right. Yeah, let's not use that. Then. You should level, yeah. Uh, speed. That's not much faster. That's AP, though. I think it's. I think she said Ara actually. He's passing. A is great. She needs a little bit of help. I'm sit here. Should I be running? Just these AP shots then. I mean, this is barely. This is negligible fire rate. Difference is going to be the AP and the firepower buff. Yeah. Uh, that 94, that level 94 oh, is the no, reason why no. that was probably a little slow. Okay. Um, Alright. Let's be honest. <laughs> let's be honest. If there's one, if there's one, one battleship, one battleship that would be able to wreck I don't think anyone has to bat an eye on that. If there's one battleship. I've been trying to make it some of the lab gear. I have not been playing Opsi enough to really get into that. So I don't have all the resources. I've actually made a handful of items, but nothing really uh, crazy. 
This was this should be a super easy win for the for everyone for everyone's fox lolly. Nagatol. Unless she doesn't proc her barrage, which considering <laughs> considering our performance so far, uh, <laughs> I have some <laughs> considerable concerns. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Yeah, sure. Understandable, but not forgivable. Smiling, how- Smiling, how many characters have red skills? Bruh. I'ma slap you. <laughs> I'ma actually slap you. Alright. This one should be pretty quick. Mostly because Nagato. Even without the bra, she still hits pretty good. Also, 20 level advantage. Uh, yeah. Something happens. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's sounding good. That was pretty decent, yeah. Uh, I like the hit buff she does give to the back line, which is really, really, really handy. Oh god, now I want to do Nagato in the monitors. No, I really want to do Nagato on the monitors. That needs a fleet formation name. Nah, it needs a bit more of a legitimate name than that. Bullet time. <laughs> RNG's not nice, the fleet. Yeah, no kidding. Lead storm. That would work. The Moab fleet. <laughs> no survivors. <laughs> Oof. Oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> She's right in the middle of all of that. Like, I'm actually kind of curious. If you could combine three characters with barrages and they all were to proc their skills at the same time, which combination of three has, like, the most, like, well, obnoxious on screen barrage? Difficulty Toho. <laughs> right, it feels so wrong seeing <laughs> Maki's. Look. I can't do much about that. All right, we're, 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 we're having fun with this, for those that haven't seen it yet. Though I'm pretty sure if you guys have watched, wow, they're both, I just forgot they're both level 95. They are extremely frail, but I believe in them. Because I, that's just natural. <laughs> It doesn't matter what I was about. I was like, what do I need to put on them again? Oh, right, it doesn't matter. Yoink this off of Nelson. Gurin! Bruh! <laughs> Bruh! Whoa! Jeez, awesome to see you got Monarch to 120. She's also, uh, she's also full fate sim too, so she's like completely done. And I'm pretty happy with that. But you should also know that no oath collection is complete without an oath hood in there. What are your thoughts on PR4 designs, by the way? Augusta, Augusta's amazing feet! First off, thanks for the <laughs> thanks for the hundred there. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> um, like I was saying earlier, though, uh, I like that August has a. Are you talking like when you say designs? Are you talking like the actual like looks of the character? Or are you talking like their kits and stuff? I know you mentioned the feet thing, so I'm assuming you are you you're thinking like actual character design. Well, that just happened. Yeah, that doesn't. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> This SC Super Chat went places. Yes, it did. It went. 
it went in probably almost every direction it possibly could. Thank you for the Patriots. Yeah. Hawks losing out. You guys really want the oath, the hood oath. I'm sitting here over here like, man, I was talking about Noshiro and everything. <laughs> yeah, the character designs. Uh, Hakuryu, uh, like, originally when I looked at ha uh, Hakuryu, uh, she kind of scared me. Because she just has, like, that I'm gonna kill everybody I see look. Of course, apparently when you steal her katana, she gets, she completely 180s, which is kind of adorable. Um... Igor, er, Agir just looks like Prince Zeugen. There's no, like... <laughs> I made a joke on Twitter about it. I was saying, you know, I, uh, uh, what was it? In the Indianapolis video, I was referencing this thing called the Prince Zeugen effect, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure there's another one now. Uh, Anchorage is just adorable looking. So it kind of doesn't surprise me there at all. What's wrong with that, Sky? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think. Marco Polo, I just noticed she had a mask on it, which is kind of cool, but, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't really know if there's too much I can really say about her design, really. Oh, that's right, these guys can't use, uh... Oh, what do I use for hit equipment? I guess just SG radars? SG radar and fire control radars? But yeah, Anchorage looks so adorable. Parco, Parco, Mal, Parco Molo, what? Eco, what? Um, but no, as I was saying though, um, I do kind of like the overall flag like, setup that, uh, hang on, you know what, let me just go back to that real quick. I guess I'll, I might as well just like show them on screen and talk about it real quick. Be easier than just having a golf memory. So as I said, Anchorage, she, like, just looking at her, she's got, she's a cinnamon, she probably is a cinnamon roll. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> uh, actually kind of literally, like, this looks like the... Hmm. These kind of look like wings, honestly. Or, like, feathers. Anything special about that? <laughs> Riddle me this. I actually don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm trying to. I need to actually see. Can I zoom out on this? No, I can't. I kind of want to look at her full design. I should probably look at it at the sprite, but I'm kind of wondering if there's some pretty decent uh, symbolism there. As I said, she kind of scares. Uh, how could you kind of scares me? Though. <laughs> this look. I honestly looked at these and thought this was like a grenade launcher or something. <laughs> These are some grenade launchers or something. Oh, hold on. Is this a hand? What is this? I'm trying to figure out what this is behind her. Uh, I wish I could move the sprite. I can't really see it, though. Why does Hakuyu scare you? The face. Just the face. The face that she looks like she's about to, like, walk up to you and just gut you. Um... A gear? No, a gear? I don't... I'm probably butchering the name. Uh, about what I would expect out of an Iron Blood character. I like the architecture, like the building, the building architecture in the background. Though I'm not really sure. It, it feels kind of random considering it's not anywhere else. Though uh, Prince Eugen, but wearing a lot less, <laughs> wearing a lot less clothing. <laughs> you know, honestly, I don't know. Maybe it's, is it just me, or does she give off like a more of a dragon impression than a uh, like shark? Is that just me? The eyes, the eyes give it, and then like I don't. I mean, obviously this kind of looks. Yeah, the horns, the horns, and the the eyes kind of give more of a dragon feel than a uh, like a shark. Because I think that's what they originally were. Yeah, Sea Dragon. Fair enough. Gear Serpents. Oh, well that explains a lot then. <laughs> no, definitely, definitely Succubus. What do you mean Succubus? Um, August? I don't know. 
I really don't know. There's... I mean, it doesn't really stand out much, I guess. Very simplest. I mean, I don't know. It's probably the less flashy. Like, they're, like okay. Looking at, like, uh, Agir here, she's got, like, a whole bunch of... She's got the major background. She's got all the rigging going everywhere. Her eyes kind of pop out. Uh, obviously, everything else that people would look at. Um... Kudu has a lot going on too. She's got the, the her overall rigging, uh, this, obviously the katana, and her facial expression. Anchorage, these little shiny things everywhere. The things that look like wings. I don't know what it is. This one just feels kind of dull. Not to be mean to August, it just feels kind of dull. You love the Ravi Ravi theme in the background. Yeah. It just kind of feels very like maybe it's because I can't see the full uh, uh, the full sprite, and I, I'll be honest on that. But it doesn't seem like there's much to look at overall. Nothing really pops out, save for her just sitting on the chair. The feet, Hulk. The feet. Yeah. Okay. People are looking at the feet. Honestly, I first thought this was like the you know the chair that Prince uh no that Prince I almost said Prince Bismarck oh god that's from Crossway um from that Bismarck sits in it kind of reminded me of this for some reason but I don't know her her sprite not too flashy but that's not necessarily a bad thing for her maybe she's more reserved composed I don't really know her personality yet then you have uh Marco Polo apparently she's got a split tongue as you guys are saying I don't really see that yet I then again, I can't really zoom in. Um, I don't know what these... There's some interesting, like, glyphs, glyphs, glyphs here that are all over the place. It's kind of nice. Nice? Or, neat. Wow. Neat. I can't English today, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I always did like the kind of aesthetic the guns have on the Italian ships. They have this nice, like, little um, decoration on their gun mounts and everything. I really do like that. Uh, I'm trying to look for any other details that really stick out here. Obviously, this is kind of cool, too. Oh, wait. She's rocking out there. I just realized double rock. She, this this thing be rocking out. <laughs> Those are hands. <laughs> so, what about KMS Hood? <laughs> it is not KMS. Well, no, it's a it's a joke, uh, Colonel Riggs. It's a joke. <laughs> Heavy metal bow. <laughs> when you when you got a mass at <laughs> when you got a mass at eight, but you rock out at seven. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They're not too bad, but yeah, I th that's pretty much what I would say design wise for them. I feel like there's something I'm missing on August. It just didn't, it just seems too dull. But then again, that could be the focus of it. Maybe she wants to be the focus of the. Because like that could be the thing too. Is that could be the character's design is not also necessarily training to their, you know, their mannerisms and everything. August is a bit of a chuny. Really. I guess that I could see that with her hiding one of her eyes. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully that answers that, Gurren. Watch August chibi animations. Oh. Hmm. I have to pull up a Ruma video, but I don't want to do that on stream. August's voice reminds you of FDG. Really? Oh, it's Alan. What? What? What's wrong with Alan? What? No. It's just little Alan. Yeah. God, this Light Duty skin's so good. <laughs> yeah. How close are you? 87. Yeah. 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 He's just dying of diabetes, nothing to see here. Well, I mean, you could also do that watching my, watching Nekopara. <laughs> Nekopara does a good job at that, too. It's 
Shinsuke is just too good. It really is. Like, props to the person who made that. They really put all their put all of their effort into it, and it really shows. Definitely. You know what? No, keep that on. I'm, take, I'm taking gear off of Alabama. Oh, there's like 200 people in this stream. Yeah, that happens. It happens sometimes. Other lane streams do be, do be like that. I'm actually kind of curious what they plan to do for... Because uh, the anniversary is coming up. You guys know, you guys realize that, right? <laughs> Next month is August and we're hitting into anniversary territory. That's uh, definitely going to be exciting. Um, New Jersey and bar one from you. Yep. You only have your Haku grinded out. Wow, dang, you're broke. Oh, I, that kind of doesn't surprise me at the same time. <laughs> Although that is kind of to be expected, to be honest. Alabama dress can we riot? Never know. You never know. They they have been kind of surprising with some of the stuff they pull out on the anniversaries. I mean, uh, I mean, really, the big thing is the Nemi the Nemi oath from last year was kind of huge. All right, I think we are geared. Yeah, that looks good. I'll give you one one level here just for the sake of making you two literally even. Oh God. Don't tell me the server has just died. There we go. <laughs> that would have been a first on stream. Alright. We're doing this. Helena, I, I believe you can hold your own on the front. A decent... A decent haul of rainbow prints. That would be nice. I would definitely appreciate that. I'd like to start using some of the PR2s. <laughs> Never really focus on it that hard. They're so expensive. All right, hold up. Oh, I did it early. I did it early. My timing's a little off. Also, good job, all of you, for proccing your barrages. I really should. Oh wait, no, this is the other twos. I was like, wait, no, wait, they have their attacks. Oh, that's the bug. That is the, occasionally the thing does that. Oh, no barrage there. Nobody barraged, wow, really? I'm waiting for Suruga to just wipe out one of the monitors. I actually should have switched them to uh, AP rounds. They're not. They're not punished by that. <laughs> Don't go down. Yeah, that's kind of the problem with the monitors. They're very, very frontal, so <laughs> they will completely miss if the enemy stays in the middle. They've been outsmarted. I should really be trying to get that barrage. Locked and loaded. Yeah, that would have been good. <laughs> oh, Master is a big thing in Japan. It really is. I mean, I don't think the idol animes really took off outside of Japan. I mean, idol really isn't like a big thing. I feel okay, I mean, we got what? K pop. I know K-pop's kind of a thing. <laughs> yeah, Looney, I know, I know. I I thought that I, I was sitting there trying to figure out what the other two shots were, and I completely forgot they're both the monitors. How much of a difference would it be for them to have it to be carrying AP? That just rhymed. <laughs> I'm going to switch both of them to AP. Fast and Furious would be a good name for a fleet. I don't know, I feel like this is... Uh, this needs to have something related more to the barrage than anything else. Bullet Storm? I don't know. I mean, they're technically all bullets if you look at it that way. 
I mean, they're really pellet looking. They're not like actual. <laughs> they're needles, I guess, is probably the right thing to look at. I think Bullet Storm is actually a pretty decent name now that I think about it. We built them together. Ah, you're going into Wisdom Keep Lore at that point. Only one that time. Mother of all barrages. Well, that may not necessarily be true. I mean, we don't know that. I haven't actually tested enough other uh, frontal barrages and stuff to really know if there is another replacement for that. Hold this, but nah. Full health sounds better. Hmm. The thing is, it's like I don't want to like. Uh, I just realized she's firing AP shots into the back line into into <laughs> monitors who are both flight workers. This is not going to go well for her. But yeah, like the main my main concern is just I don't want to have uh, you know give it a name and then something else ends up being better at that. Like obviously people were saying that with with speedrunners that um, those two were actually synced. Uh, you know obviously uh, Jumbar and Richelieu both have preload, so they're technically faster at it. But no, I was like, that's like I did feel like that speedrunner. They just have it at the start. It's very different. <laughs> we could pull a TF2 reference and say, use more gun. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you enjoyed that, Han. I love how Suruga is only focusing on Nagato. It's like she knows she can't do anything to the monitors because they're light armors. <laughs> Efficiency in my run to the right stream. No, this is definitely not oil efficient. You could probably still do this with only one one. He can't outsmart bullet. If you could outsmart that bar, if you could like dodge all that barrage from the three of them, I would be amazed. I guess I could hit retry. I felt like it did all right. I think it's very meh. I did watch the idol of the gun. But, but yeah, like, as I was saying, though, like, idol outside of, like, Japan and maybe, maybe some areas of Southeast Asia, I don't think it's going to do too well internationally. I mean, we do have, like, our own, you know, there are a lot of people that do, like, K-pop and everything. So I understand, like, there is still a, a bit of a demand for it. I fired that too quickly. I completely forgot what formation I'm using. It's okay. Yeah, Nagato didn't fire anyway. <laughs> Erebus will take care of that ship down there because she's actually pretty decent at that. But yeah, like, I don't know. I guess the bigger question is like, what? Like, have people watched like? I guess the bigger question is the chat here. Uh, have you guys watched a lot of like the music-related anime? That could be anything from idol related like Love Life, Idol Master, to I mean, you can do K on. Um, I am forgetting what it was. Oh, what's that one called? I forget. There's a handful of others I'm getting. Uh, Hibiki Euphony? Sound Euphonium? Not really. That's understandable. Don't watch a lot of anime. Fair. Also fair. Bro, your line April doesn't count. <laughs> Zombie. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, that one too. I'm trying to remember what the other one was. Yeah. Zombie Land Saga, I guess kinda does count. 
it's not true, you know, like, idle. It's got, like, another switch to it. Oh, dear lord. That did decent damage to her for a barrage. Holy crap, that was, like, three, three or four bars of health she just went through. Fair enough. But yeah, like, uh... Like, I guess that's one way to look at it, is like, how many people have actually watched, like, music anime? I've seen a majority of the ones that I just mentioned. Like, I actually thoroughly did enjoy Sound Euphonium, because... <laughs> I used to be in band. <laughs> so, I would be sitting there like, oh, hey, look! <laughs> Stuff I do. And then, obviously, all the silly stories of band came back in my head for a very short period of time. AKB, yeah, AKB. That's a pretty decent one. What's Terra's affection like? I think it's in... 88. Thank you, Creative Cloud, for telling me that I have updates available. You've said that the last five days, even though I've updated everything. But yeah, she's at 87. Erebus is at love. Hawk was a band kid. Well, okay, my middle school, I, basically, I had a choice. I could either do choir or band, so I did band. Because I didn't want to sing. <laughs> How many Ice Series? Ice Series? Eh? Trying to figure out what, what you're referring to here, but no, I was a. Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, I, my main instrument. All right, everything's dead. My main instrument is uh, alto and flat sax, but I can play pretty much every single woodwinds, save for flute, because that is the main of my existence. Uh, I could play trumpet and trombone. I was decent with drums, but I wasn't amazing at it. Uh, I could play guitar to a degree. I did like violin and, and uh, viola as well. All of them were really fun to play. It's pretty nice for the sub. I see. Oh, subs. Uh, I should have most of them. I just haven't leveled any. Oh man, if only if only Suruga was not in the middle there. Also, there should be some decent damage. There. Play flute and went to oboe with that delta sax. I just could not get sound from. I could never get sound at all from the flute. I was so bad at it. I, it's so drastically different because I'm used to like read, read and double read instruments, and then flute's just like not that at all. <laughs> it was, I, I just could not. <laughs> Can only play piano. Hey, there's nothing wrong with only playing one instrument. I mean, I was pretty decent with alto uh, sex, but I wasn't like um like a cr crazy, you know, crazy good at it. I didn't really like do it and think professional with it. So, I'm not like, what, a bit, I don't know if anyone listens, well, okay, I don't think he's probably the best point. The person I was going to actually say is 8-Bit Drummer. I don't know if anyone watches him on Twitch. He's a really, really funny guy to watch. Though, he, he actually does some pretty good remixes, or not really remixes, but you know what I mean. Um, covers, I think is actually what the word is. <laughs> to answer with a cringe reply. Oof. Which is which of the ships do you think would have the most interesting job post Siren War? I think New Jersey is. She seems to be openly. Op oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't know about that. All right. No, let's. Hmm. 
<laughs> just like, I don't know how to even... <laughs> I don't have anything I could say to that. <laughs> hmm... I'm sitting here thinking... I kind of want to make a joke and... So, okay. I know this is not... So, okay, I, I, let me point this out. I know this is not going to make entirely a lot of sense because obviously the naming is not from this d team. But I had a formation in mind a while back ago that I called Curtain of Iron and Blood. Obviously, I know the Iron Curtain is KGP. But I wanted to use it as that because the name kind of fits it. And, uh, Iron and Iron Blood. Pretty much a play off that. <laughs> How about a three lane dead zone for this back line? Main, <laughs> because main <laughs> ship's brush cover. Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, it makes. That's very literal. It's fine. I don't think it's a bad idea. I still kind of am more prone to bullet storm. Bullet hell, that could fit for so many fleet combinations for backliners. Iron Carton coined by the British, though. I th think it was. I don't entirely remember. I knew I knew it was a thing that was described for the uh, Soviets. <laughs> I don't remember if it originated from the Soviets exactly themselves or somebody else. But yeah, this was what I was thinking of doing. Having some. <laughs> yeah, let's do full. Let's have let's have some fun. Let's do full German now. Let's do full German. I can already hear every single, uh, uh, like, every single Rune fan screaming at me right now. <laughs> uh, hmm. Nimi? If you want Nimi for the fun of it. Yeah, Nimi. This is gonna be so overkill, but it's it's gonna be fun for it. Usage is cross separation of East, and I think that is correct. I don't. That's like the one thing I'm like kind of sketchy on was where the origination of the Iron Curtain designation came from. Uh, All right, chat vote. Who are we thinking? Do you want some Graf Speed? Do you want some Prinz Woo? Hipper, Deutschland. Heinrich. Oh, yeah. Woo, Prinz Woo. <laughs> Nimi is a good girl. Always will be. Of course she is. <laughs> woo, Prinz Woo. Heinrich or Spee. Well. I said detonation. No, uh, designation. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Sadly, Ika, I don't think you're winning this one. Actually, a few people are not that said Hipper. I didn't think they're gonna win. Cold. Oh, really? Cold. The fake carry. Sandy doesn't. Sandy doesn't have. I know. I want that to do the woo. All right. I think Heinrich has won. I think Heinrich has won. All right. Now comes the fun part. Hey, let's use that. Let's use the video I just did from yesterday, where I will now look at the entire backline. Actually, I should go ahead and do Tupperts first. I think what I'll go ahead and do is let's let one of them be AP, hopefully for the armor break. I'm actually gonna let Tear Pits be our our HE girl. Sure. I'll yoink this. Kon Kun. Oh, I don't know how to say that. Yeah, I don't I don't speak German, so I don't know like the umlaut and everything. Like how that's supposed to pronounce. The only one I know I think is the uh umlaut over the U and it literally just sounds like you're vomiting. 
for lack of better description. That's so you can't go from Conclay. Oof. Is this how I bully Hipper? No, if you really want to bully Hipper, there is a way to bully Hipper, but I don't want to do that because it's very mean. <laughs> I did it a long time ago and people thought it was, uh, <laughs> it was a bit much. I want, I do want her to fire. F no, I want her to fire second because she's got this one. So uh, you need to be shells instead. I might as well just want everything off of. Just really make it easy. Grab ourselves the. Hipper looks like official. I guess I can see it. Not as not as much as you might think, but still. God, I'm enjoying that that rework on her. single mythical munition ship. Oh, like give Kashino some friends. That would be kind of nice. Bring out the torpedo bolt, you already know it. Tipper and Fish are just Asuka. <laughs> yep. Seems like Chad already knows what the uh, what, what it is. I did not. I, I just did the plates daily earlier today, and I still don't. I use. God, I do not have enough gun plates. I need to farm for more of those. Oh, wait, no, I know why. I dumped a whole bunch of them elsewhere. There's quite a few videos of German pronunciations. It's not that I don't. I mean, it's not that I got anything against standard. It's more of I just don't necessarily have the time to watch people's videos. I do sometimes, but even then, it's rare. problem is just because of, you know, I, like, I, I work and have a full-time job and everything, so I don't necessarily think I'll be able to do it. Okay. How unfortunate are we? Yeah, this is about what I expected. This team, I have not used Germans in a while. And I don't want to take off of them, so... Oh god. These girls aren't really known. I don't think Heinrich's much of a torpedo girl? I think she's more of the... just how her barrage and everything works. Just bar off of her, too. How far are you in CC4? I have not even done permamap yet. I'll be doing permamap mostly on Saturday. Oh, right, I forgot to mention. There's a thunderstorm outside. Uh, if, if for any reason, uh, the internet just, or my stream just stops. Assume that's why. <laughs> I should probably be upfront about that right now before it does happen. You rarely use superior engineering. Look, they, they, they have their down, they have a lot of drawbacks. It's kind of hard to do much about it. Her, and then I think the other one was the uh, book. Yeah, the problem with me is I don't necessarily have the ability to. Oh yeah, Tashkin has it. Or so common though. Oh, they normally are. Like I don't generally mind them. It's just when, actually, I had, I had one day where the thunder uh, was loud enough it scared the crap out of me. Uh, it was enough to wake me up, and I'm pretty pretty sound sleeper. I think I usually use this on her, if I remember correctly. Nexter is not being used, so I'll go ahead and yoink this back on her. <laughs> Everyone looks at Hipper. Alright, <laughs> we're back to this again. 
you are definitely not being used, so sorry, Kirov. The house begins to flood. I'm a bit elevated, so I don't think I have to worry about that too much. I think. I really don't think I need to worry too much about... It's not gonna matter, but I'm just gonna put evasion on anyway. Worth every drop for just getting Anchorage to 70. Wow, jeez, okay. Alright, this team should not be geared. Um, pound line will still work, it just won't be Iron Blood. Or, it just won't be fully effective. All right, 77 oil. Don't you just love it? <laughs> that's a that's a skill name too. <laughs> I guess here's a really good uh What is it? Um, I guess a bigger question. What's everyone's favorite skill name? Like just because they're silly or whatnot. Checkmate. Or maybe they're historical reference, I don't know. They're both loaded, oh boy. Are you a Canuck? I am not a Canuck. Did that armor break? I didn't I can't even see God, they really need a better indication for armor break. Yes, it's it is broken. I don't know. I feel like debuff, like debuffs, like armor break. They need a much better visual indicator. It is very hard to see it sometimes. I think this is Bismarck actually, which is good. Oh yeah, that's doing really well. It's so hard to see the. Uh, what is it? Um. It's so hard to see armor break. This mark got MVP, really? I guess she has some love. Wait, what? what's her level difference? Oh, five. Yeah, that's a decent. The damage distribution, though, not bad. That That's a pretty solid damage distribution. Obviously, the highest level. Or no, she's not. The, well, okay. A battleship. She usually is going to be the destroyer. <laughs> Nimi tries her best, but I don't think she can out outgun Bismarck. There's already indicated from her. Yeah. yeah uh, okay. I'll see if I can pause. Let me see if I can pause. That's not what I want. It is really hard to see, but I'll see if I can pause it just right. Lucky he's nice skill, I can remember. Heinrich Hunch Punch. <laughs> no strange ideas, please. Rude, please. Is it, uh. I think, aren't, aren't, aren't all of Nornberg's, uh, things like requests? Like, please don't, please don't. The Massachusetts. Oh, okay. Alright. Let me see if I can get this to work. Uh, there it is. See the see the shield. See the shield. I held I held on tear pits so you guys could try to see the shield there. It's like a shattered shield icon. That's the armor break. It really needs to be better than that. That's probably the one thing I wish they really did change. Yeah, you could barely see it. It needs better contrast. <laughs> That's what it needs. It's just really good contrast. Or they need some better... That's like the one thing I kind of wish they really worked on when it comes to, uh, like, in-game stuff, is they need a better indicator for debuffs. Like, obviously, when it comes to skills, we can see when a character's got one active because they glow, you know, blue or red. I don't oh, know. Yeah, they glow yeah. yellow. I've never just seen a support skill work that way. I think it's always just been glow red if it's a support buff. Actually, you can see right now, there's glow blue and glow red, which is 
usually all you need to know if there's a buff there. But the debuff side of things, it's... You got the hell in a circle above their head, which applies to multiple... A multitude of things. So if you have Helena with, like, Tanikaze, you'll never be able to tell if it's... You may be able to tell, but, uh, you might confuse Tanikaze's soft debuff with, um, Helena's thing. Which is extremely annoying. How does armor break work? I don't actually know the percentages, but if you hit an eight, So, if you hit a heavy armor with AP, it can cause armor break, and that, I think, increases gun damage. So it's generally good to, like, if you want to do decent DPS, it's usually good, or it's good to have, like, an AP gun, and then if you have, like, multiple battleships, it's, a, like, one of them carries AP, and if you can get them to fire first, that's best, and then after that, use HE. Wow. Zeppelin with the MVP. That's all over the place, Jesus. <laughs> Who would marry the main protagonist in Kitchen? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> There's still a lot of characters we don't know. <laughs> also, I don't think any of them have really thought about that kind of, you know, lifestyle. But yeah, it, I really wish they made it to where it's a lot easier to see what kind of debuffs they have. Ah, yeah, there's a unique line there. Like, I can't even see a shield icon, which that didn't even actually give this one a time. It's fine, of course, oh, I see. That's some good damage from Bismarck there. But yeah, they really... Yeah, what... What an obvious indicator there is. Yeah. Like, sure, you could... I mean, you could kind of tell if you're paying attention to skill procs between Helena and... But Tanikaze is when her... Uh, when her um, torpedo buff kicks in or debuff, I guess, technically. Uh, when that shows up, you don't uh, see, like, the little... Like, the little card doesn't show up with their with their sprite, and it says, you know, uh, the skill name. It doesn't do that. It just puts that little Helena debuff uh, circle above them. Which, if you have that proc with Helena at the same time, you'll never necessarily... You'll never be able to tell if... Uh, um, it does proc. It's kind of a little... A bit rough. Yeah. I know there's a lot of people that were asking about uh, Genshin content. I know that is something people have been wanting to see more of. I'm gonna try and get that in, fit that in the schedule. But uh, we'll see what I can do. For those that for those that haven't seen the episode of Nekopara yet, I did finish Nekopara, so that is done now. I don't know why I fired that. Oh well. I guess tier pits will just have to do without it, which is fine because there's a chance that can happen. Yeah, uh, I am gonna try to get more uh, get an impact on stuff or stuff out. But yeah, currently my high priority is uh, New Jersey's video. I heard about that one. I don't know how to feel about it. Are you going to armor break this time or am I got the guess? You did. And go. But yeah, next week is going to be 2.0. I know that... Is it really going to be called 2.0? It doesn't feel like it should be 2.0. But yeah. It feels weird to call it 2.0, because isn't it like, wasn't it like, what, the most recent one we had was 1.5 or something? Why 2? I don't, I don't get the 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
the voice actor of Albedo and Barbara. Uh, is this e is this Ian voices or is this JP voices? If it's Ian, I would never have known because I don't use Ian voices. It's not a fault of the voice actors, it's just I prefer to stick with the Japanese voices. Yeah, it, it's not really like the like the video I made yet, uh, yesterday or I released yesterday. Um, they don't make these features that well because like no, and even then it's so hard to see them because like you can't even tell she's got armor plate right now. Well, she did until that wore off. Graph make it. Pretty good amount of damage in here. Oh yeah, she got the kill. I was thinking, I was like, I, I wasn't sure if I could say she was gonna get the kill, but no, she she definitely did. You gonna try punishing Gray Raven? Uh, oh, that's the um. If I have time, I don't necessarily know. See, that's the problem is I don't know if I can really commit to anything else. <laughs> Being a bit overloaded with a lot of things. Two Pinocchio is getting a new region. Okay, I guess, but I, I don't know. Version numbers feel weird to me. <laughs> so it's major update too. Okay. I think it's battleship specifically. Uh, there's a handful of characters that can inflict it as a skill. Um, I don't have full... Oh no, I gotta hold this. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah, I don't... The problem is I don't necessarily have the time for it. If I, if I didn't have a full-time job to worry about taking that time off, I would. That's, uh, that pays the bills, so. <laughs> what do you think you'd be starting PR4? Uh, I don't think it'll be too long. I mean, there's only five characters in PR4. And I'm almost done with the second one. So, it's not gonna take me too long to go through the rest of them. Image distribution still pretty even? Yeah, that's still somewhat even, I would say. Average is around the 3k mark, or 30k mark. Which is fine. Just eat to your Archetto. Oh, Archetto, nice. Oh, we are done with hard challenges. Alright, I've got 20, 20 EX tickets to go through. Uh, I don't know what level she's going to be on this, so I'm probably going to have to pay attention to this. Can I do s Torpedo Fleet here? Like, is my own fleet that I would... Well, no, I don't think... I don't think, uh... Rig from the start's a good fleet combo here. At least the back line is, because they're all HE. Oh, uh, well, I mean, the... Torpedoes will probably make that up. It's 125. Yeah, that makes sense. She's also gonna hurt pretty bad, too. I don't know if I can necessarily say it's going to be great. Ah, so you don't bother with the medium or low. Uh, if I have time, sure, but they're not usually something I, inv you know, focus on. E, 300 core data. That's always nice. Other <laughs> than the pure one, I can't do any other of the Iron Blood ones. Yeah, that's kind of a downside to Iron Blood. A lot of their units are event locked, though it's gotten better because they've added a handful of them to the uh, permanent pool now. But it's still kind of hard to get them with how polluted some of the pools are. No, I just feel like I've been busy recently. I missed the last couple. Yeah, just don't hope your sister. Yeah, she's doing much better. I'm actually pretty thankful she's doing a whole lot better now. I was worried about her for about a whole year, but thankfully things seem to be getting better. What's Punishing Grey Raven about? I actually don't know. I've heard a lot of interesting things about it. I know there's a lot of people... Uh, what was the other? I know Scarlet Nexus has been taking a lot of people's attention away, though, from it, which is kind of interesting. 
though I think they're very different games. I think one's a gotcha, the other one's not. So, hmm. I'll see. I kind of want to just see if I could do. Okay, if I'm going to use, like, my best, it's going to be Monarch, War Spite, which both of them... I don't think Monarch has any requirements to be AP er, for HE, which is probably... I'll have to double check. I don't think you have anything specifically for HE versus not HE. I'm sitting here thinking, do I want to do... Hmm. You're gonna be Barrage on Fire, so... Maybe it would be better to have Monarch Fire first, just because of the, the increased AP. She's gonna have the AP Barrage she can run? Oh wait, no, is there any good... You've been enjoying Toho Lost Word. That's another game a lot of people have been asking if I would look into is Toho Lost Word. Yeah, there's no fast two-shot AP besides this one, which I don't know if that's even worth using. I'd rather just stick... Yeah, I'm just going to stick with her being uh, HE. Well, you know... They both have AP barrages, so... I think it'll be okay. I think I can kind of hold off on that. All right. Anyway, let's see what the best the best uh, I can do with right now is, which would probably be oh, Amagi's also well. That's frontal barrage, frontal barrage, and she kind of needs that spot. Eesh. More spite. I could go old guns, I guess. If that's still a thing. What is old guns nowadays? Is it even still a thing? Because we got Monarch. Respite. Should I do a third or should I bring a carrier? I don't think ace air control airspace control matters. Otherwise that'd be really mean for carriers. I would probably see. What, what's my, my Duke? Eight, 108? I know I've used Hood before, but Hood and I think Monarch are going to conflict. Yeah, let's just do Double Sniper. We'll do Double Sniper. Uh. Who's got the high stand fire control radar right now? Hold up. I kind of want to try to see if I can plan this out a bit. The problem is going to be this is going to be. Okay, no, I don't want you to have that then. So, what I might try to do. I think it was a black shell we were missing. Hold up. Shikika. Yeah, black shell. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to give Duke get Duke to fire first if possible, see if I can get the AP or the armor break. And then from there, um War Spite and Monarch should then uh, be able to shoot. Problem is I'm gonna have to use I don't know if I want to light that because she's gonna go. F she's gonna shoot that so fast. That saves three. That shaves three seconds off. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be possible for me, for me to get Monarch to shoot last. 
Unless I took her off of her fast firing gun and made her use a 406 or something. But that kind of goes against the whole barrage on fire setup. So why are you using the secondary gun? Is the purple one gear up? Yeah, I should probably. You know, I could. Let me just, let me see. I probably can't make it, but we'll we'll at least see if I can find it. What faction's it under? On. If I had a guess, no, that it can't be. Yeah, Sucker. it's USS. Really, it's this one. Is it this one? I might actually be able to make this. Holy crap, I can make it. Can you believe it? I can actually make a weapon in the gear lab. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I'll try it. Not that I'm going to use these anyway. What happens if I give it a plus three? Does it actually lose its a... I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to use it anyway. Oh, it actually does refund you that. That's nice. That's good to know. I was wondering if it was going to do anything about that. Is this even good? What is this? It's an AP one. Uh... 30. 30 second fire rate. Holy crap. Star Fox Wolf themed Gang Star Fox. Yep. God, I love Star Like, that was one of my favorite games growing up. What was this again? Oh, yeah, this is done. Amazing. Mi amigo! Oh. Mi amigo! I wonder if anyone even calls, uh, says that when I see Seattle. Actually, no, no. Let's just let's just go to the here. Let's just go here. Um, I guess I'll give that to her then. Might as well. Who should I put in the front line though? I probably won't be able to plus ten this either. Now that I'm thinking about it. Man, it sticks out like a sore thumb. Right, let's see how this does. How far can I take this and not end? My purple plates are... Oh no, I've got... I stocked up on purple plates, I guess. Yeah, there you go, plus 10. I don't want to go any higher. Because I don't know if that's going to be that valuable. Get the Iron Blood DD gun. Oh yeah, I forgot that's a thing. Okay. She's got a major level disadvantage, so I gotta put the, uh, I gotta put one of these on. She's gonna need all the hits she can get. A 26 versus a level 108. She's gonna definitely need hit. Hey, Jane. Let me try it. I don't know if I have time. I'll have to see. There's also another major, like, I'm working on a bigger video project right now. So it might be where a lot of my time gets taken. I'm gonna put this on her. I'm just gonna give her all the hit. I don't wanna give her crit. This is the crit da Oh, that's crit gun damage. Never mind. Okay. Um, I wish I, I wish you could see how much hit she has now, but eh. She should have a decent amount now. Should I try a torpedo meme or should I not? I don't know how painful they're how much pain they're gonna be in. I'm gonna try it. I'll see how torpedo meme does. They're probably gonna get wiped. 
Especially since I don't have a very strong type. Jinsu isn't high leveled either. So it's just gonna be, it'd have to be my the, the same three I've been using, which is Noshiro, um, Ayanami Ibuki. Well, I can definitely use Pound and Lime here. That is, I, that is Royal Navy all the way. Give you higher gold tier drops. I don't know actually. You guys are gonna use Stupid Voice because it's like the only. What are you gonna throw on me? Really? She's better. Point. Uh, I feel like Dust Boot should move to the. Never mind. Alright. We'll just see how this goes. I'm not too worried about subs, because I really don't use subs. <laughs> Mostly because, like, all the Oxy equipment is not on them. I'm hoping this is gonna work. That was pretty good damage up but there. Noshiro though not doing too well. Nah, you, nah, you late? Not, I mean, a little bit, but not, not like you're missing too much. You're good. This is doing pretty decent damage. I feel like I'll probably do better with uh, playing more RNG and being more tanky. So I'm actually going to switch out the Vanguard. Uh. Baltimore probably would be, wouldn't be too bad. And then, should I just use RNG Trio? Or the RNG duo, uh, Cleveland Helena? Probably. Hey, Kevin. Come on, I'll throw my FGG green on. All right, nice, congrats. Double rune would be for badge. Yeah, I don't have the other rune even close to being even functionally leveled. I don't even think Rune's got her full skills leveled yet either. To give you a clear idea. Oh no, never mind. She's good. I at least gave her that. Stun and done would work. Yeah, I could see that. One back. I think like the back line did good damage. My stun and done may work. I don't know if they're going to be that heavily. I mean, they. Uh, we'll try them out. We'll give it. We'll give it benefit of the doubt too. Sorry, Heinrich. Gotta yoink this from you. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how this grouping works. I like how you. I still like how you can practice, but I usually don't do that. I like how the PRs have been getting a crap ton of loading screens. Or, they got a lot of them. They got a lot of them. Yeah, this will work out well because Baltimore's got some buffs for her because no, there's no CV or Eagle CV. I'm gonna hold here and see if we We'll take a salt order, that's fine. I 
Hey, Alina. I don't know why I hit you there. Oh god, Monarch! Suga not liking you this time around. Uh, you guys know. Seems about the same? This may be a little bit better, actually. Just because of the RNG from uh, Anna Cleave. I've seen Dragon No, that is one of the ones I do need to watch, though. I think that was a little bit better. No, that was way worse, actually. Holy crap. <laughs> 189 versus 210. Oof. Yeah, the torpedo memes really did come in there. Pretty bad. You have APBB guns. Well, no, I don't want to use all AP. Because I don't think that does any justice with armor break. I think armor break doesn't work well with multiple APs. <laughs> ah, Rick rolled. Lovely. <laughs> How you doing, Rick rolled? I, but I believe, if I remember correctly, it's like, uh, I think armor break doesn't work well with multiple AP guns. I think it's just good if I have one. I may be wrong on that. I don't remember the armor break mechanic entirely. Good. Awesome. I kind of want to see what's the best I can get out of this. I didn't get any Helena procs. I got a, if I can get a Cleveland and Helena proc, I want to see how much damage that is. Especially if I get an like, armor break, Hel Helena, uh, debuff, Cleveland buff. That is a amazing trifecta that would be terrifying to Need oil. Uh, I cannot provide. Radar scan, Leslie. I think that's an armor break. I can't, it's so hard to see it. Oh, I keep thinking I have torpedoes. I don't. Ooh, there we go. Alright, break, please. There's the trifecta right there. Oh, I just ate that barrage. That was not good. Yeah, all of them hit there. That was amazing. Oh, there goes Baltimore. No, Baltimore! <laughs> then she ran. Took out Baltimore and ran. That was a really good damage output. About the same, really? That was heavier, that was heavier on the... Uh, that was much heavier on the... Uh, hmm. So the RNG isn't exactly great. All AP BB guns have the ability to armor break, right? Yeah, they do. Maybe you just can't see. It's just so hard to see it because there's so much stuff going on on top of it. Like, the icon really needs to not be there. As long as you ringtone that microphone. Oh, it was. That's funny. You think it's counterintuitive for armor break to be weakened with AP guns are used? I don't remember the exact trade-off. I remember there's like some kind of, like people were saying HE is generally better once you have an armor break, but I think it's probably, that might be just because of an, uh, a burn argument. That might be the case. We'll go ahead and switch over. We'll use the heavier hitting AP guns this time around with the uh, Monarch, Monarch can't, I don't want to change Monarch though. So. <laughs> Well, 
Well, no, I, I kind of have. Uh, all right, you know what? Let's, we'll try it. Um, more spite. You're getting this one. You're gonna e uh, yoink from. Uh... Where is it? Oh, I can't because she's. Oh no, it's a purple. I'm an idiot. It's a purple. <laughs> Giving a purple to a PR. And then we'll give you the other one. Hey, Anna boy, how are you? Doing from this. We'll see how this trio does. Then just go all out AP. The luck of the bullying helps. I mean, we can. <laughs> That's not gonna go that well. <laughs> that is not gonna go well. <laughs> That's seventy-eight oil cost, though. Oof. And Marcos, hello. I didn't see you there. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Already fired. AP at us. Force by missed. Salt order kicking in. That's lovely. That's 20 bars down in one for one firing salvo. Dead here, oil. <laughs> oh, right, the icon bug now. I gotta remember that. Yeah, this ain't doing too well. Man, that radar, that radar scan plus in assault order is totally useful at the end of the fight. <laughs> that was really bad. Alright. This one, uh... Okay. Let us try out our other one. So... We will try, we will try my version of Stun and Done. Rotate them out and see how this one works. Make sure they're all equipped too. Okay, my officers, you need to switch to my other team. This one an arc. All right, let's see how this does. Seventy-eight. Tends to just dodge everything. That is true. I mean, she, she kind of did that during our entire hard runs here. Let's see how this goes. My Vanguard's just stay alive better. I've got a uh, shoal hole for him. Which is really weird to think about, but using a kick, especially since she's DPSing here. Ooh, Raider Scan Plus. Yeah, that was pretty decent, I would say. Probably... I don't know. It's doing okay. Probably gonna be just about as good as the 190-ish. Wow, the subs are doing okay. <laughs> the game 
same as trolling me with the assault order and radar scan plus at the end of the fight. That is hilarious. Yeah, that was really bad. I'll give it two more runs, though. We'll give it two more runs just to kind of see what, the, what an average would look like. So we'll see if this works out. I see you, Richards. Wow, no benefits there. Oh. Kinda stuck there, Saruga. Looks like it's about guaranteed 20 bars if everything hits, which is pretty decent. That's with no buffs and debuffs, which is pretty solid. There's radar scan this time, oh, right? This one, Enterprise didn't know what he that time, so maybe that's what he's doing. I still did decent damage there. But I'm only getting two launches off. That was a pretty decent one there. That's probably about the 190s, except the 170s like last time. So we're looking at probably 190-ish here. Yeah. So average is about 180. Not bad. Last one. See if we can get a good, good run on that one. So I think the best really has so far has been uh, uh, Royal Navy backline with uh, torpedo memes. <laughs> The stressor isn't leveled, Mr. Man. Let's see, right here would be a major thing. Just radar scan. That will be interesting. Some damage there. Ooh, that was good. Okay, yeah, that's 25 bars. That's good. Probably high 190, maybe, maybe hit 200. We may hit 200 with this one. This is probably about 20, yeah, 206. That's pretty decent. So we're looking at probably about 190. 185, 190 average with this group, which I think is pretty decent. You know, I might actually try. Let me. Uh, because they're doing 20 without. Let's go ahead and switch off my Vanguard here and bring back Sakura Empire here. The uh, torpedo memes here. So that helps. Let's see what that. Let's see what this variation does with it. Grinding for Anchorage. No, I am not grinding for Anchorage. No, I am uh, technically working on Champagne, but we'll get to that later. This team probably will be okay. Usually have a proc in three times brattle. Yeah, it's not the best proc rate still though. 69, nice. <laughs> that, 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 this is a lo loading screen, I just realized it. Face torpedo, face torpedo, face torpedo, and face torpedo. Five bars alone with just torpedo attacks, that's not bad. And no, she was on fire. No, what did from Enterprise? It's not doing too bad. That hurt really good. Oh, 
<laughs> we probably could hit sub 50 there with that. We could probably hit sub 50, actually. This may actually be the better. <laughs> this might actually be a decent setup. So yeah, this one, this one might get a sub 50. Did I try the? No, I did not try the Konami code with that. <laughs> Bruh. Well, Payamis are gonna miss. She ran into all of those torpedoes. New face torpedoing. Yes, boss. I am pretty risky there. One, two, three. Enterprise, please, you're killing me. I might have, yeah, I just lost my shit off. Because I ran face first for that barrage. I'm pretty sure we can hit that below fit. Oh, I lost. Hey, not me too. Oh, we did! Hey! <laughs> 49. We lost two people, but 49. <laughs> it's still pretty solid. Alright, let's see if I can actually do that this time without losing both of them, because it would be nice to get their torpedoes up before they get completely annihilated. <laughs> I'm a face torpedo you. Come here, Suruga. Eh, eh. That's a good amount of torpedo damage there. Holy crap, there's 10 bars. Alright, Enterprise, please. I need you to do it this time. Alright, there we go. That's pretty good. Oh, no! <laughs> Took that barrage straight in the face. Hey, there's stuff. Oh, hey, we're actually doing better this time. I mean, I still lost people. Oh, my God. Seven. That was pretty good. Hey, Tatsuya Shiba. That's pretty solid. So this... I think the only thing I need to really, uh... But getting that initial bit and not having- and get, if I get both of the Awaridas off, I think we'll have a really good damage phase. It's just we gotta get all this going straight off the get-go. Okay, got a little bit less ideal torpedo damage in there, but it's fine. Enterprise, please! Still okay damage output, though. 75 is still pretty... Getting there down to 75 is pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty bad outcome. Yeah, not getting the, uh... Well, I mean, okay, sub-50 there with all three ships standing. That's pretty good. I think this is probably going to be the, like, this comp is probably the best I'm going to be able to get right now. Just considering everybody I have. Which still, not bad. I have no idea how many more of these medals I've got. <laughs> I probably have more, actually.
That's all the damage we got in there, it's fine. Yeah, we gotta get both of Enterprise's procs. That's what the major critical thing is at this point. That's a good start. A lot of that damage somehow missed. Which is really weird. There's some redemption there, but... God, jeez. That's not doing too well here. I don't know what went wrong on that one. I mean, I don't really know how the first barrage of bombers missed. How all those how all those bombers miss on that first effect. The thing, the thing I'm seeing though is with this team I can consistently get about 200 plus, which is good. That's kind of the big thing I think I uh, I need to address is how I got eight challenge tickets left. Jeez, I still have eight of those. <laughs> 9k already. <laughs> Must get a monkey chan. <laughs> Must get small bean. A little late for the Amagi-chan, though. See you, Caleb. Have a good one. I think that was a face torpedo. I lagged a little hard there. I not be able to tell. God, that was some terrible torpedo damage, actually. I don't know what's causing her to miss there. Maybe it's because I'm holding on the uh, uh, the other two. Because I'd like fire Shofo immediately, but then I don't do the others. Oh, that's it. Kamado oh, Shofo still wasn't standing. Yeah, she is dodging. Holy crap. No Shiro, live! Live, No Shiro! Live! Yeah, this is a really bad run. This was terrible. This is 190. Oh, not even. <laughs> yeah, there's a major y yikes. Any tips for newish, more casual players? I've been playing for a bit while, but stats still confuse me a bit. Uh. How long have you been playing, though? Like, what's your like? What are your, what's the like highest levels of your ships looking? Hey, Sheena. Um, maybe you fired for me too early. I don't think I fired her too early. I think it's Shoho too late, or no, Shoho too early, and then I held Enterprise and Formidable. Um, let me see. Oh, wait, Caleb's not leaving. Oh, <laughs> you're saying goodnight to somebody else. Sorry, NM. Yeah, NM left. Sorry about that, Caleb. But yeah, uh, typical... If you're, like, just now starting out, I would say just kind of get a bit more familiar. This was a really good torpedo phase. Okay, that was good. Uh, just, if you're just starting out, start, start, start learning, like, all the characters, like, uh, All the mechanics that you can handle. Air, air strike, screen clear, that was really good. And, um, you know, manually aiming, all that stuff. I guess it depends on how you want to play, if you want to be more manual. But, uh, but yeah, I'd say the other thing is just start leveling ships, get familiar with them. Ooh, this is really good. Ooh, that hurt. No! I lost a sub. <laughs> that was really good, though. Uh, but no. Uh, just start leveling ships. Leveling up a lot of ships. Don't go crazy on it. Um, also, don't feel like you need to limit break literally everybody. 
just start with a decent uh, group of, of characters, build up a decent team there, and then once you're comfortable enough with that team, just maybe start looking on another. So you want to have at least, I would say, three fleets worth of ships that are decently leveled, because if you start, so like when you start going into hard modes, you'll ha you'll have ship restrictions. So if you have at least three fleets worth, there's a good chance you'll be able to cover them. But yeah, leveling ships is going to be just playing and just leveling up ships is going to be probably the biggest thing I would say. Just keep grinding away at getting their levels up. Um, let me break when you need to save oil. If you want, if you want to be that hyper efficient with oil, sure. Um, if you're not that concerned with it, I would say limit get get at least LB uh, the second limit break because that's going to be where a lot of the uh, major advantages for the ship come out. Like Preloaded main gun mounts. Whatnot. Um, if you're having, if you're confused about the stats, um, you can. Which ones are confusing to you? Like I could try to explain them a bit. If it helps. Because like yeah, they do. I mean. One of the biggest things I will point out... Can I... Oh, no, I need to hit change first. This is the one with the dumber things here. You can click right here, and it gives you a general, like, description of each of the stats. So if you just click on your stats screen right here... Okay, I guess... Okay, click on the leftmost column. It'll open this up for you. Um, most of these won't matter too much. But some of them were going to matter depending on, like, what kind of ship you have. Like, for example, a carrier that has zero firepower, in most cases, is going to make sense. If they have firepower, there's probably a barrage or something they're doing. So, um... Mm, I'm pretty sure it requires full limit break, Sheena. I'm pretty sure it requires that. But yeah, if you if you have a question about these, I can try to answer them with what I do know about them, but there's not like a whole lot I can say without like busting out math formulas, <laughs> which isn't exactly something I would say is uh, uh, what people probably would like. How do I get another rainbow? How do I get another one of these? Uh, there was an event they came with, and I think the rerun, when the rerun came, that's when people got their second one. I think right now there's no way to get a, a third or a second if you weren't there for both of them. So, I'll double check. If I had to wager a guess where it would be, maybe there's stuff in the gear lab that I'm not aware of. Let me see, it'd be Iron Blood, it'd be Torpedoes here. No, Surge Storms. Uh, oh, no, yeah, it is in the Torpedo. So Iron Blood, go, uh, go to Gear Lab, Iron Blood, Grouping, Surface Torpedoes, all the way to the right. Yes, you can get more multiple copies. That's good to know, actually. So yeah, you can craft it in here. I figured you could. Like, I had one place I would imagine where you could, and this was the only place I could think of. But... Yeah, looking at this, <laughs> that's pretty ex good. Oh, God. I don't know how easy it is to get these. I don't, I don't even have one. Um, got a decent number of this stuff just basically playing, but change plan. Yeah, this is just changing the torpedo type. That's all it's doing. Yeah. You could go for those. Aren't those the British torpedo dive bombers? Yeah. These guys, right? Yeah, this one. People, been, people really like this one. Firecrest. Yeah, I do not even have the reasons, resources to do that. I have this, which I can actually probably turn into a firecrest if I had the remaining pieces here. But yeah. Uh, what I would say, though, uh, at the end, though, typical... Not to read the stat descriptions. The stat description. Let me double check and make sure they explain enough. 
because one of the things, like, I mean, I literally made a whole video that about them not explaining a lot of things. It was like his own game. It really is. I have to remind myself that, that, that it's another game mode. Not that it's a bad thing or anything. It's actually pretty nice to have that extra game mode. But, okay, let me double check real quick. Actually, you know what? Let's just go Monarch. Shikeka. Yes, but no. Yes, but no. It doesn't really. This isn't gonna. This is. This isn't gonna say. Oh, she has a hundred and no, she has six hundred and twenty-seven firepower. So every shot she does does six hundred and twenty-seven. No, that's not true. There's a lot more than just this. Uh, than just firepower talking about damage so this is an entirely accurate it, it it it's true to a degree but it's also not there's a lot more to overall damage than simply just firepower uh define ships damage with anti-air guns there's also another half of the stat that's missing which is also influences the amount of uh damage you take from airstrikes so having a high anti like I think it's, I think they said every 150 AA stat is like 100% more health against airstrikes. Uh, armor type this is defines degree of protection. Yes and no. Um, it is true that heavier armor generally is more tanky, but there are still vulnerabilities to heavy armor that the other two armors don't have. Same thing with mediums and lights. So. You, there's, you'll have to look and see um, the modifiers for weapons against those armor types. Torpedo, very similar. Very similar to firepower. It's not one-to-one. -one. There's a few other things that are taking place on the torpedo damage output besides just the torpedo stat. Aviation, I believe, is the same way as well. Reload. Um, I think the only thing I really say about this is... When you get past 100, don't worry about trying to boost it drastically. It does have a... It is one of the few stats that has a uh, diminishing return situation. Evasion... It defines the ship's chance to evade attacks. It's, again, partially, not entirely. Uh, evasion... Like, overall evasion has... There's another stat they don't show here called hit or accuracy. Um, that matters on evasion. Uh, level differences matter. Luck matters. I think that is all of the stats there. One of the loading screens talks about... Yeah, but you could put them together. <laughs> you really could put them together. Um, oil. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't think there's anything I can say about that. That's accurate. <laughs> Uh, how much damage? I think this probably is going to be very similar to um, Torpedoes and Firepower, where it's a part of the formula. Oxy, I actually have not looked into that. Ammo... Wait, hold up. There's a stat for that here? What? Dump oh, that's a submarine fleet. Never mind. SR, submarine, luck... Luck influences a lot of things, but let's see. Influences the ship's chance of hitting enemy, avoiding the enemy's attacks, as well as their chance to land and avoid critical hits. Yeah, this is pretty accurate. This actually explains everything, really. That's probably the one that's the most explained. Huh. Um. Oh, uh, pay attention to this. This little green face. So... This is something that's very important if you're if you're doing some heavy grinding. Uh, I'm trying to remember what your name was. Literal, was it literal? Something like that. Typical. That was like literal, or typical, something like that. Um, so this is important to pay attention to. Morale is very important. When you fight, when you send a ship out to fight, they will use up some morale. Um, they will get it back slowly over time. Just not being you know when they're not in combat, very slow. Uh, a way you can get more of it back is to take them and throw them in the dorms. 
And there's obviously two things for dorms, but that's a whole different... I feel like I, I feel like at this point, I might as well just make a beginner's guide. <laughs> Not that that's been... What? How many good beginner guides exist for Ozelane at this point? There are, like, so many things I would talk about, though. But yeah, um, in the dorm, just having the characters that you're actively using in here is good. One, um, it does level them up passively by XP gen. So if you play a lot for a day, you're going to let them rest a little bit, throw them all in the dorm, let them level up passively. That's perfectly fine. They will get some levels while you're sleeping, doing homework, I don't know, playing another game, uh, whatever you would do. Nice going, Cheshi. Yep, it's one of the ones I do have. Hey, Cheshire Dance. <laughs> um, but no, there are two floors to the dorm. So this is the first floor. First floor gives you XP over time and also improves morale recovery. It has decent morale recovery, but if you want the most out of morale recovery possible, you had to throw them on the second floor. Now you have to purchase the second floor. Um, that is going to use gems. So if, you ha if you're saving up gems, I would highly recommend getting. The second floor is probably one of the few things I would say is really big to get. Because when you start doing PR fi uh, farming later on, um, having, be having the ability to put your full team in here that you're using for XP grinding is extremely valuable. So. <laughs> this is me right now looking at that. <laughs> oh, since chat was asking about Cheshire in the box. I think she approves chat. The Cheshire seems to be pleased in the in there. Dace is probably going to be happy regardless of where she is. Dace just has that happy face. So, But yeah, uh, those are the two things I'd say for morale. I think that's all I really would worry about. As I said, though, uh, just start leveling up some ships. Get a decent number of fleets in. Like I said, get about three. Three fleets of fully leveled... or Not, not fully leveled, sorry. Fully leveled would take you forever. Um, of decently leveled. So be that whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, if you want to take them to like level 60 or 70, then work on another group and get them to 60 and 70, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I think that's a pretty good start, really. Getting a decent grouping of characters to 60, 70 all together is going to be good. The more option, the main reason being the more options you have, the more, the more uh, ship options you have for hard mode, the better when you start getting into hard mode. And really, just having more characters to work with is going to be very good for situations. So, anyway, hopefully that is, hopefully that's enough answers. <laughs> don't have the gems for more than two dorm slots in floor two. It's okay. Don't don't feel like it's you've made a wrong decision if you didn't get it. There's probably other reasons, but it is a very worthwhile upgrade to get. You don't have to get it immediately. They may give you some. You may be able to get it later on. You just got. I have not finished PR four, Bowser. Uh, I've not even. Or I've not even finished one yet. I'm still working on PR three. So I'm working. I do PR one, then PR two, then PR three, then PR four. So, uh, mostly because it takes a while to get the blueprints for the characters anyway. Sure, I guess uh, Anchorage is going to be usable early, but I'm not too worried about that. No problem, typical. Uh, feel free to definitely ask more if questions if you have any more. Like, for beginners, guides, pre... <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the thing, is like, there are so many beginners guides out there. It's like, as much as I want to make one, and I probably could, I'm just like... It's been done over and over and over again, I feel like it's not a good idea. Oh my god. Even he did it. 
That's a good target damage for period there. That one works perfectly. Holy crap. How did you do that? <laughs> it's just the live 2D thing. Like, it's, there's nothing else to it than that. Oh, that's no luck. That may, yeah, a lot of that missed. Oh, right, I have subs. That's a thing. Subs are a thing. I am a smart person. I swear I'm a pro gamer. <laughs> I'm sorry. But no. That work just poking in. Hey, Grey Kit. Hope your work shift's going well. That could allow for longer fleets. Larger fleets would be good. Like, bigger than six fleets? I wonder if they've ever thought about that. The only reason why is because of how, like, Odin is. Odin's one of those weird ship... Like, okay, she's not weird herself, but she's weird in her kit in that she just kind of sits between the Vanguard and the main fleet. I wonder if they've ever thought about, like, a middle line defense group or something. I don't know. I'm not sure how that would work. But, like, the whole thing with Odin makes me wonder if they thought about that. Because, like, Odin is literally in that weird... That weird position where she's in between two groups, and it's... I don't know. I would be perfectly fine. The one thing I would probably say I would want to see more before even getting more than six ships per fleet would be being able to bring three fleets, like three actual full fleets, into a mission. Because you can go like, you can do two mob fleets and a boss fleet, that would be so nice. A lot less stress off of one mob fleet. Hilariously enough, that was still decent, even though she dodged so much of that somehow. Oh, wait, no, there was no Awari though. Oof. Right, subs. <laughs> But yeah, I think three fleets would be the one thing I would definitely like. Because, like, I can handle, like, my my, my mob fleets can, or when built right, are very capable of handling themselves. It's just having that extra fleet to take a lot of stress off, off of having that one fleet fully functional so your boss fleet doesn't have to fight anything is nice. Um, but... I don't know how they would, what they're gonna do about that, because it would require this UI to be changed when you think about it. Because this, this is like this UI specifically is set up for two fleets. Now, I guess you could argue Operation Sirens UI I think has the ability to set up multiples, which in that case they'd probably just implement like some kind of a scroll here or something. Still, be nice to have it. About the meta system, like meta. Oh, like meta. Uh. I feel like Ozelane Meta has made that himself. He's been doing a lot of the Operation Siren stuff, and I'd rather not step on him over that. It's kind of something I've noticed. Like, I, like I've said before, it's kind of something I think like all the male creators have been kind of doing is kind of paying attention to what each people, each person's doing. Like Meta, Ozelane Meta has like all the EVP content. Which is perfectly fine. I have like the character reviews. Ander does equipment. We have I think a handful of people that do meme videos. We have some what anime crack videos. Uh I think that's all of 
There's some people that handle historical accuracy videos, or like, like they talk about they talk about the over overarching uh, historical context of the characters. Which is kind of nice, but I think that's it. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to think of it. I know there's no one that's doing lore. Lore is one that a lot of people would like. It's probably the biggest thing that I think people have been really, really wanting to have. Hey, I got a spare copy of that now. Gimme. Sweet. West Star requirements. The like the individual like the map requirements for each one? A oh, game map because it's too loud. Okay. I did lore once. Yeah. I don't count myself as the lore person though. Just <laughs> saying that just because I did it once, I'm the lore guy isn't exactly a very uh, wise thing to say, I would say. The Lord's a bit of a I think that's but that's the reason I think people want that though, Andre, is it's because it's a mess that somebody wants it to be straightened out. Ooh, no she just took all those torpedoes for the face. When you go to face torpedo a boss, but the boss face torpedoes you. Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. Oh, subs! Okay, so I'll say this. Before, on the older versions of... I don't know if it was blue stacks or if it was something else. I used to be able to hit C, my C key, and that would bring my subs out. I've been hitting it all the time, but because I don't have that set as a preset, they never come out. And I can't make a custom preset there. It's just something that... Blue stacks doesn't do. It's just kind of like I'm like, why does Nox do this, but Blue stacks don't? Yes, I knew that. I'm not too concerned about it because honestly, color is good enough. I don't really see a reason for all that. Plus, you have a very limited character uh, budget on your greetings. Yeah, Enterprise is not hitting her RNG here, which is kind of the big problem there. She don't know maybe the better call there. The more reliable DPS at least. The problem with Enterprise is she doesn't proc her skills, she's just a normal carrier. Oh, that hurt. Well, those are gonna miss. Or not, because she's gonna run into, like, a majority of it. <laughs> How good is Tight Hole? Uh, heavy armor carriers... They're okay. Depends on... I haven't looked at Tight Hole at all for, like, gear set and everything. I think I either have one more coupon... I got Or, ticket coupon. One more, I have one more ticket. I'm not sure if I had one more or not. Which ships benefit the most from having the VC armor plate? That is going to be your large cruisers, the CBs. So, Azuma and uh, Agir. Probably Azuma still more than Agir. Okay, and two, one, out. 
to like remember to do that. Where's that barrage? There it is. I'm not surprised Fate has a lot of lore. I haven't really played the game myself, nor have I watched any of like the, the uh, enemy bits for it. You might, I mean, if she's having trouble, if she's having trouble, uh, trouble staying alive, yeah, you might need a healer for it. So. <sighs> What's the next one after 10k? 14k? That's such a weird numbering system after that. Why not 15k and then 20 and then, I, okay. The uh, Yachin's, Yachin's number three, okay. Honestly, I thought there'd be a few other people up here, but I guess not. Oh wait, I have some additional ones because of these, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, two more runs, and I think we're good. <laughs> I think lore has a there's like a, the AL lore side. There's been people that have really probably been really wanting a better uh, overview, at least just an o like an overview level, like synopsis of all the events, or at least a, a working timeline. We're getting a bit of a better one now because of all the recent ones, but I think there's still a lot of holes that need to be. You know, figure it out. Our maps too. Yeah, I'm gonna focus on 12 after this. Uh, shot two. I think we've we bullied Saruga enough today. We'll let her <laughs> let her get a little bit of a break. We don't need to bully her anymore. I just realized how fast this fire is, there's still pedos, holy crap. Because of the, yeah, the ti siren timeline stuff, yeah. Offside does throw in another wrench to things, too. Like, I know Operation Siren also has triggered, uh, also has a lot of lore to it. There has some lore to it as well that also I think has fed into some of the events, which interesting, which is interesting. You have 27 tickets left. <laughs> I had 20 at the start of stream, so we're not too far off. But no, like in re in reality, you don't need to get anything above, above the 10k. You're more than welcome to go for more. But, like, the 10k is probably the most critical one you'd need, and it doesn't take that long to get to it. Which is a really nice thing. Enough Sudoku. Yeah, exactly. Enough bully for that. That's a lot of torpedo. That was a pretty good amount of damage we just did there. Ooh, 47, hey, not bad. I got on the wikis. Did you miss the pre messages? I did not. Uh, is that a five or four thing? Let me see. Custom buttons. Let me see.
That's macro recorder. Under the keyboard. Advanced editor. Oh, they actually do have. Okay, there it is. Never mind then. Then I need to put it like right here. Or you're gonna go over here. That would help to know. I hope I got that right, actually. Okay. Now, with that out of the way, we've been about two and a half hours, dang. Oh, here we go. Nice. Yeah, you can see, like, her red skill's level 5, it's gonna be level 6 after the end of this training. Yeah, I am just- this is how I generally do this. I don't really do anything fancy. Do you use Bluestacks 5? No, I'm using Bluestacks 4. Bluestacks 5 seems a little too early. I know it's beta, but still. I can't say I'm- I like it. At least not yet. Those are all going. So you know what? Let's just pop that. So I have a little extra. <laughs> Alright, I gotta make sure all of my characters are still leveled here. So what I'm gonna do now is we're just gonna go straight to... Uh... They look leveled. I'm gonna make sure. You're missing something. I knew it. But no. Uh, we're gonna go to run 12-2. I'm gonna try to get the uh, characters that are there, I believe. Um, I think there's one at 12-2. I should double check real quick. I believe it's 12-2. Oh, you were the right mouse then. Yes, okay. You're fine. I know you guys are equipped. Yeah, okay. That seems fine. I'm pretty sure it's this. Has low oil. Hey, yeah, uh, I've been going through uh, quite a bit on getting. Um... Twelve two, twelve three, and twelve four. Been going through a lot just to get champagne level. That's why I'm using this back line actually right now. So we're gonna hope I, I think I have pretty much everybody else besides. Yep, this is uh, <laughs> welcome to map drop sh ships in a nutshell. The one I want's probably right here. I wonder who this is. This is probably Javelin, actually. It wouldn't surprise me if it's Javelin. Oh, that's no that that is not what I want. That is not at all what I want. No auto search. Go away. I definitely don't want that either. I need to have at least enough oil for the last hour and a and so of stream. Okay, uh, I need three, three. Three rolls are switched. Just in case for some reason I accidentally hit auto search and it does something stupid. Okay. How did you add the sub button? Apparently that was, uh... It's under here. Game controls. So on the game controls keypad, think of the advanced editor. Did not know that. If only that would fix the Ark Knights problem of the uh, pause deploys, which I can't do anymore. <laughs> Oof. That's really gonna hurt on CC. I know a lot of people are upset over that. Your chance. Yeah. Alright, see ya! You want a bullying retrofit? What? That would be hilarious. I have nothing against that at all, but that would be hilarious. Oh, well, yeah, I know, Robert. That's why I was assuming that was Javelin. I was more than certain that was going to be what Javelin 
because uh, like that's been part of the course, yeah, ever since chapter two. YouTube is having a hard time figuring out stuff. <laughs> It, yeah, bullying retrofit actually makes the bullying capable of combat. That would be hilarious. These are the nice, on the bright side, I'll be able to get uh, Richie and jean uh closer to uh, higher levels, which is good. Having them at 120 will definitely be appreciated. Sorry, Congo. <laughs> It may actually help me to have circular defense on. I probably should actually be using that. AA is this team's weakest thing. What are you guys set to? Not that it's gonna matter here, but it'd still be good to have it. Oh no, they are set to circular defense. Never mind. You can't even do that in the first place, Chaos, because they're they're two AA gun equips. Oh, look at all those 10Ks. <laughs> Use bullets for AA, not Sandy. I mean, they do have double gun, but Isuzu does as well. Hey, that is the three load fleet you did on the video on. Yep, that is, this is rigged from the start. I still have them set up as a formation. They're pretty fun to use, though, but I, I need to use them anyway because uh, I'm grinding out champagne. Time for Genshin Daily. Fair enough. Meta bullying? Okay, no, that's fine. I, I, I will be perfectly fine with that. That would be a hilarious prank. There's so much going on, on screen because of all the stuff they're doing. Speaking of <laughs> and we have Nikopara. Okay, any large fleets? Nope, just a bunch of main fleets. That's fine. What have I done? <laughs> I mean, it would be kind of nice. To, oh God, Richie, that was a lot of damage. But yeah, I think it'd be really hilarious. Yeah, they should be doing the... I forget, when do they usually live stream that? Isn't it like a Tuesday or something? Like a couple days before? It's usually a couple days before they actually do the update. Uh, the, uh, update. Which, if it is going to be out of Master, yeah, they're probably going to have some kind of a live stream for it to talk about it. At least they've been doing that a lot more, which is kind of nice. Which rerun win? That's yeah, gonna be a while. Skyward or uh, or or Torio, I think is what it's called. Or Skybound? I don't remember. Skyward or Skybound uh, or Torio. That one's gonna be quite a bit beforehand. Actually, I, probably, I don't actually know what the next rerun event's gonna be if there is one. Is this kind of? Is that Iris already? 
No, it's gonna be one of the it's gonna be one of the uh, Royal Navy events. It might be the is it Percy's? Oh, live stream is tonight. Perseus or is it Russians? Which one came first? Was... was it the first Russian one or was it the second one? Russians came first, okay. Should be, yeah. That is probably first Russians, then it's gonna be, I think, the Perseus. Uh. Then I think second Russian? No, the Dreamwakers. Dreamwakers is eventual. Oh god, that fits. That's weird to think about, actually. Oh, nice. These are... <laughs> oh, this is gonna take forever. God dang it. <laughs> My battleships are shooting AP rounds that destroy... <laughs> Terrible damage! Well, Polaris... Uh, I don't think Polaris is gonna get one. I think it's first... Ru it'd be first Russian... French East? Because it was after... So it's between... Oh, wait, right. I'm, I'm thinking so many events. Right, Skybound. So Skybound. Yeah, it's probably first Russian. Um, micro layer. Maybe micro. Hmm. Yeah, this is a. That's a. <laughs> that's a case of. Wait, did Sandy just hit level 20? Sandy just hit 120. She was 119 for the longest time. Nice. Alright, let's fix this real quick. I didn't fully pay attention to that. I thought she would already. I thought... Huh. Well, that's good. Shikika. Sorry about the yawn there. Oh, crap. Micro layer maintenance. Dude, let's let's not let's let's not let's not go there. <laughs> that was uh, that was an atrocity. I tired me two New Jersey's. What are your thoughts? Did you? I'm guessing you didn't need them then. You know what? <laughs> 700 firepower. Uh, 705 power power. I gotta see how much the... It's not gonna be anything crazy, but still. Oof. That's some spicy firepower there. Northern Overture, Marker Lair, then Skybound. Okay, that sounds about right. Then after that... I'm pretty sure there was... I think there was an... I don't actually know what's after that. I'm sitting here thinking, like, 
Perseus was... Perseus' event should be coming up soon. Like, after those three, maybe. I'm not sure if it's before or after. Then again, they also don't exactly follow the order completely, but... They're generally pretty decent at it. Oh yeah, pla fa I forgot about the faction tech. That is true. How much did you actually have? I still hate this. Like, I can't see the rest of the team. 13, so it is actually a total of 718. <laughs> I see, friends, Lagan. You're good. You, you guys are now good. I don't think I have to worry about anything. Sweet. Pizza Hut X Domino's collab. I don't know how to feel about both of those put together. Max limit video for every st What do you mean max limit? Oh, like how far can you go with one stat? Uh, is this talking with- is this like without skills or is this with skills? Cause with skills those are gonna be- you're gonna have to number crunch those. You can't really do much about that. You just have to, you have to number crunch pretty hard. I have acquired Hammond. I'll just skybound it. Looked like it would be Percy. I was thinking it was. What is that one called again? I forget what the uh, Royal Navy event was. It's Howl's event. I don't know if I could really do anything about that, though. I was thinking it was Aurora Noctis. I wasn't sure if that was the right one. I didn't want to say Aurora Noctis because I wasn't sure that was right. I felt like that was, though. <laughs> I guess I should have gone with my gut. Wow, also, <laughs> that second team just got vaporized. Okay, yeah. Uh, I was only with Warhammer. That would be really weird. Highest firepower stat in the game, according to my Discord mates. Really? I mean, that kind of makes sense. She has... That's the one thing she was known for. Like, before her retrofit, is she had the, one of the highest uh, firepower stats. Which really just means that her neutral... Like like I, like I said in, my, in her video, her neutral game is pretty solid. That's like the one good thing about it, is that gives her a good neutral. Not that you want to rely on a character for its neutral game, but with the wrench of it nowadays, it doesn't. You don't have to worry about that. But the game did not like that one. Transform. Definitely not that one either. I don't think that's gonna ever happen. Alan Perseus. No, oh, when the Halb event comes back, also Percy's level 120. Heck yeah. I know she's been 120 for a while, but still. I completely forgot to mention that to chat. I was like, oh yeah, she's 120 now. So, you're building up XP. I think you probably have enough for one level. I have no idea where she's at. Also, Linux Arc Knights. That's probably not gonna happen either. Be a very weird situation. I just the weird thing is gonna be the um, Rainbow Six collab for Ark Knights. I just hope the co-op mode for that isn't janky. That's the biggest concern I'm gonna have about it. It's kind of hard not to. I mean, Perseus, it makes sense. It's, it, she's just pretty solid. <laughs> Yakuza collab. They release a dance stage and all it is is just. Dame <laughs> dame.
was that Bakabi Tai, I think is what it's called. Megatrune, oh please no. Yeah, I'm hoping they fixed it, because uh, they fig I think they figured it out, you know, like, er uh, early enough in the event, so it was actually tolerable. But hopefully that persists on EM. I know people aren't exactly pleased with the rushed CC schedule. <laughs> it's kind of a hard one to deal with. Hey, Mystic. Speaking of Arc Knights, exterminate. But yeah, there's also the other bug of, uh, what is it, the, the pausing not working the way it used to anymore. Because that is so punishing. This <laughs> guy, you're going to have to deal with lag, sadly. That's just kind of the downside of your situation. Eight hundred and thirteen Saratoga. Oh, hey, Paul. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're about three quarters of the way through the stream. It's all right. Oslin next exhauster lane collab. What do you mean? What does that do? What? How does that work? How, how does that work? How many bloopers unlock Fate Sims? There is not a Fate I don't think the Decisives have Fate Sims yet. Which probably... I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Fate Sims kind of give them an extra a stat they don't have, which I think is luck, and maybe a few other perks. But I don't know if that <laughs> that's so much blueprints. Just leveling the last level for any for just standard priorities is a pain. I don't even want to imagine what that's going to be on decisives. It's going to be like three blueprints just for one percent on the last tier. I'd rather not think about that. I thought it was still the Sakura Empire team, so I just started spamming all my torpedoes. I can hold both of these charges. Show off that 700 some firepower worst play. That's some pretty solid damage. Alright, shit, I'm gonna get Headshot! Oh! Ah, oh, got hiccups. No! <laughs> you can see she's an <laughs> EXP cap. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> maybe I should switch her out and uh, maybe put uh, somebody else. It's only a boss. It's not going to do a whole bunch. Man, no. Man, no. We No. No. Man. No. Not anything but that one. You should get bonked for that one. <laughs> Would just be us getting the sirens. You know, that's a fair point. Among Us collab. No, we're not doing that either. Oh, 
What do you mean? What do you mean? How? How? No. How? How does an SCP? So many questions about that one. But at the same time, I don't want any of them answered. <laughs> because SCP makes no sense. <laughs> I don't understand the SCP reference. There is no reference there. It's just people were saying Ozzy X SCP collab. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. What do you mean? SCP is also one of those things like you have to know it, otherwise it's like completely foreign to you. Oh god. <laughs> the SCP story about the IKEA store is trippy. Uh, that's... Oh, yeah, that one. The, like, faceless enemy, or whatever they're called, monsters that are just in there. Yeah, that was an interesting one. But no, I- that is- that is not a collab I think would ever happen. The weirdest one would pro actually, well, hmm. I don't even know what would make sense. Session <laughs> reading. No, there's enough YouTube channels that do that. There's enough, there's enough YouTube channels that content farm the heck out of that. Granted, some of them are pretty good. the ones that have like full-blown animations with them. Zombieland Saga. <laughs> oh yeah, a content collection in Isles of Lane is never gonna happen. The creator of KC Hates AL, really? I never heard about that. I just knew that the communities never liked each other. Toho, I could see. The whole thing about Toho is bullet hell anyway, which makes sense because this game's also technically categorized as a bullet hell. I really hope, though, that uh, if they do do Toho stuff, they better have some freaking ridiculous barrages. I expect impressive barrages. Otherwise, I will be extremely, extremely disappointed. I don't master collab. When is that? We can. Uh, I don't think it's been announced yet. People are speculating next week. <laughs> But again, I don't take that as gospel. Um, it's all speculation. No one really knows. GTA collab. Wait, what? 
Ah, yes. That, that one makes complete sense. I was like, trillion. Probably wouldn't happen. I'd honestly see a Neptunia rerun before a trillion one. I don't really know. Like, this, like, the weird thing is, like, there's nothing... I don't know what would work for a collab in this, because, like, they could literally just pull the Neptunia or the Day Day Live story, where it's like, oh, well, you guys just here. Oh, wait, hey, here's ringings. You can use these. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I don't know how they would really go about... So, like, it makes the whole premise of, like, collabs that make sense, because the characters are kind of the same like setup but <laughs> daily live in neptunia definitely not minecraft gold point what Oh, that's nice. Keys and I. That would be a rerun. The Keys and I one happened a long time ago. <laughs> as much as everyone <laughs> wants a hollow life, I don't think CN will even will ever let us have a hollow life rerun. If they even did a rerun. I think that's just what that's gonna end up being. But the model. I've seen those too. It's kinda of sad. What happened when? Wait, you didn't know about the keys and I Oh, that's an old one. You did not. Oh, okay, hang on. Let me. You might like to see this then. Let me go pull up their characters. I'll do that after this fight here. Yeah, we like uh, Oz and Lane has had a good number of collabs already. But yeah, the whole like whole life's never gonna happen. Nekopara, I could see just because I think they did Nekopara Ting, which is one of the ones one of the IPs they had. So I could potentially see that, but I don't know like how that would work. But yeah, for those like here, we've had a handful of ignore the metas. Um, like you, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, bullions are in here too. But we've had, obviously, Hollow Life. We got. Well, we got a handful of them. Here's the Neptunia ones. Daily Life. Uh, Daily Life, Daily Life, or Daily Life, Daily Life. Sorry, Dead or Alive. Dead or Alive, Dead or Alive, Dead or Alive, Dead or Alive, Hollow Life. Why do both of these collabs actually have live in there? Never mind. Neptunia, Neptunia, Bullying, Neptunia. Here's your keys and eyes. Keys and anniversary, keys and eyes, super gamer keys and eye, elegant keys and eye, standard keys and eye. And for those of you who don't know about this, I'm gonna go ahead and do it for you. There you go. the facial expression on that one. Oh, I have no idea who we would get first as Sirens. That is a whole different, uh, that's a whole different thing. <laughs> well, you think that's funny? Uh, there's it. There's a very... <laughs> Actually, hold up. Do I even- I don't know if I have any of them. I want to see if I do. I probably have some- no, I don't. Um... Skins... 
Yes, like there's some of these. I don't think I have any. No, I never got any of the words. So occasionally you will see some battleships fire off. Uh, their shells are completely replaced with uh, Haidomo. So <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's why I, I make the joke of saying I'm being Haidomo. But yeah, there's a... You can clearly see there's a handful of uh, Hollow Life stuff here. Yeah, we've got actually a good number of collabs. Like, the more I look at this, I'm like, we've actually had a decent number. Be an early one. <laughs> Purifier. Everyone wants Purifier, especially after Purity from the Hololive one. because, like, I've never heard of whatever that is. That actually just cancelled my lock-on. That was weird. I didn't pay attention to the loading screen, sadly. Yeah, I don't know how many more... Please tell me of them. I do not have either of them. I didn't go crazy on the crates. Like, I never really cared that much for the skins. Maybe that was just a problem of mine back then. Also, I really wasn't that big into Kizuna. I knew about her, but uh, that's about as much as there is. But yeah, there's a... Uh, I don't know if I can find it. I'd have to... You'd have to look through my channel a bit, but you can find... I, I did a whole uh, video... I think I did a video on the Kizuna Eye event. I believe I did. Actually, let me look it up real quick. Let me see if I can find it. Let me take a quick second, see if I can find it. Final 2042, what? Cyberpunk. <laughs> He's in a, I, I can't spell. It. Yes, I did a video a long time ago on it. It's 18 minutes long. That is a very old video. Holy crap! Night, uh, April 29th, 2019. Did not realize I was uh, doing that much stuff back then. Dang. I feel so long ago, oh my goodness. To make that a cut, that a uh, simple uh, video I just did coverage on would get that much. Don't mind me. I'll master collab also available for. I'm pretty sure it's going to be. Why wouldn't it be? The Uta, the Uta one I don't think is going to be. Oh, no, I see what you... Mm. I can't see why it wouldn't. I really can't. Because otherwise that's going to desync EN from JP and CN again. And I don't think they want to deal with that. Elon <laughs> Musk. Alex Hawk. Wait, what, what do you mean? How do you co- I mean, they don't need to co- <laughs> they, they don't even need to collab, I'd already covered the game anyway. <laughs> I don't know what, what that would expect- what you would expect out of it- out of that, Ricardo. 
戦場に漂う魂に。ALX Brazil. <laughs> you only have collab and JPC in, right? Uh, that, that's the Uta one. Yeah, the Uta. As for. I don't master. I don't know. I mean, now that, now that you bring that up, I'm like, I don't actually know. I would hope they do it, though. Otherwise, that. Because that's gonna, like, mess up so many things. Just sitting like, I don't know what you would expect out of a collab with me. That wouldn't make much sense. <laughs> ALX League of Legends. This is where I would, I would make the joke and say, can we leave? Uh, if that does happen, the toxicity needs to stay in League of Legends. <laughs> I don't play it, but I know of that problem. There's a leak ship. Li I don't trust that. Oh, Ami and Mami, lovely. The twins. Everyone's going to confuse one for the other. I don't know why I felt the need to dodge all those torpedoes, but dang, did I do it. <laughs> Add bullion retrofit, please. Be I don't know what they do about that, though. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> that would be a very weird collab. Imagine opening AL and hearing saw. Oh, Satan. Uh, that was <laughs> Remember, I play the game. I don't know how I'm gonna feel hearing my hearing myself say it. <laughs> oh god, all the characters, all the high-pitched voices. <laughs> but it's Japanese, so it's high-pitched. God, I don't want to imagine that. That's going to be terrible. <laughs> it's like Japanese voices are great, but then you make them high pitched. It's going to just be why. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Someone, like, one of them gets really, really angry. You just hear ringing, but it's also high pitched, so your ears get blown out. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Hey, Alex Swan Luigi, everyone goes, Wah! <laughs> Wah! I can just see it now. You open up the app. Azul Wa! Azul Wa! What do you mean it's a sound bit? 
Oh, right, clip. You guys can call. You guys can clip that. Oh, God. <laughs> Was her way. <laughs> I can't! I can't! I don't know. No. We need. The, there's so many things wrong with that. Oh god, no. Oh god. Save me to get that thing it's heaty, right? Are you a Jumbo? No. I forget who it is. Christ. I'm waiting until I have everybody except for like I need to get Javelin at this point. It'd be hilarious if I ended up getting Javelin before. Because that's all I need to get at this point. No retro again. I do feel like they need to do something for the the really aged ships of Ozerlane now, though. I mean, they could leave them as they are, but I guess they're okay to still use, but they're not. I don't know. I guess that's power creep. That's just power creep in a general nutshell. Still haven't dropped her. Oh, that's unfortunate. She's a rare, so she can drop any time for me. Which is fine. I mean, the more I do these runs, the more XP it's going to be for Champagne anyway. It's not going to kill me anyway. Is Jinsu good if I already have no Shiro? No, uh, no Shiro is way more like friendly in terms of the torpedo buff, but having her and Jinsu isn't bad. Like, I can still see like Jinsu. What, Jin, uh, Jinsu no Shiro and Ibuki, or Jinsu no Shiro Naganami, or insert other third high torpedo damage Sakura Empire ship here? So. Surprised how fast these please just melt. I doubt I'll have that happen. I'm actually kind of curious what the. Uh, I don't know if it's he or Junior's. Uh, I forget who it is, which one drops here. This is 12 2, for those of you that know. Um. I wonder what their what their sets are, like what their skill sets and everything are. 
they're probably collection ships, as most people would call them. Which kind of doesn't surprise me. Oh, that's still. Which one's the crazy one, by the way? Is it one of them like hyper crazy? Gentlemen, this is about combat. Junyo is your childhood friend, if I remember correctly. I wonder what the story behind that is. Like, is she somehow actually, or is she... ...insane? You are... Abukuma, you are not worth the battleship shot. I see, so the other one is not the case. I <laughs> got my frames there for a second. So then how's the other one out of curiosity? How's he yo? The Junior's the, uh, the, the delusional one. What's he yo like then? He was pretty normal. Okay. Do you think Ryu, Ryu, isn't Ryuho like related? She talks about them. You as waifu material. Okay. Which pure four ships should you go first later on? I'm still deciding between Anchorage, uh, August von Percival, and uh, Marco Polo. Those are probably the big three I would choose between. Oh, is this Cod? I was like, is this extra? No, this is Cod's tail. Because I know Ryuho has mentioned um, them a few times. Small spite, I don't know what you want me to do about that. Might need to pull up, uh, what is it? I might need to pull up Ruvo here and just kind of check her lines. So I recall her mentioning stuff about Junior. Is that it? No. Nope, nope. Which ship girl's the best tomboy for research purposes? Uh, how many tomboy type characters do we actually have? I mean, obviously we have Cleveland. I don't know if I would consider Monty one. Phoenix is it? Okay, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, Baltimore. Okay. So so far we've hit Eagles. Kinu, Kinu. Okay, I can see that. Can you shove the third carry division? Th what? Third carry division? I don't think a third carry division. There's first, second, and fifth. Uh, real. Where are you? I. 
Uh, do you have a facial expression? I need to see this. Hey, Min Max. ジュンはまあそうですね。That's See, I don't actually see her full body because I have her so zoomed in. Because this is adorable. Repulse is. Eh, I, w I don't know. She kind of is tomboyish. She's not crazy tomboyish, though. I've considered it before, though. She definitely could be an oaf. She do be pretty nice. JB, yeah, I could see that. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just like, yeah, I think I've got a good number of oaths already. <laughs> I think we're on a good uh, number of oaths. Have you seen St. Louis's Easter egg? What? I don't think so. Can't say I have. <laughs> we need more oats. Thought about a few things, but... Thought about a, f a handful of characters, but... Don't know about it yet. Can't 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 say Yeah, I remember people used to talk about that. And then the day they announced it, I immediately gave her an oath. So she can take the first at something metal. You miss Ryu. Oof. Double Lewis. Oh, okay, I got it. There's a lot of really good Easter eggs, which is pretty funny. Oh, hey, nice. You altered the second. <laughs> that was repulse for me. That's repulse. Repulse got that one. Repulse got the free ring, actually. Okay. Joined Ale during the Dead or Alive collab. Oh, fair enough. Not a bad time to start, I guess. Uh, how, many, how many day one peeps do we still have? Like, I don't know how many people in chat are still are day one peeps. I'm somewhere around day... I'm, I'm probably week one or... I don't think I was exactly day one. K 
Caleb's a day one. Gotcha. Yeah, I know we're starting to really get down to the few and far betweens. Most left the game by now. Yeah. You can understand that, I guess. The game is getting on the old side. Could be three years in August. It's a pretty good game life, though. The Pearl Star, I swear, you know, I know, right? <coughs> be nice to have that. But no. I'm curious what they got planned. I'm sure they got plenty of stuff still for Hale to do, thankfully. That's a lot of- oh my god, that's a lot of planes. Took them all out, looks like. Nice. Ale's done well. I don't think it is. It's probably, like... If anything, Ale's gonna be exactly like how Casey is. Obviously, it, 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 it keeps- it does keep somewhat popular- it's somewhat popular, which is good. Um... But it's not gonna be... I don't think it's gonna be like a... Insanely popular game. This is not me being like hyper negative. It's probably more just being kind of like realistic. This is me also looking at how KC was and our contact collection was. I feel they're gonna be very similar. What? Okay. Was that just me or did I only see Richie fire one shot? Or were they both stacked on each other? Like, I'm sitting there looking at like... What, what just... What just happened? Yeah, Genshin levels, exactly. Genshin level, I don't think. It was... Pr it probably was close to Genshin... Well, to what it, we would consider a Genshin-style popularity. Around the time it started getting an anime and everything. But much like how a game can be, it ebbs and flows. So maybe, maybe they'll find something that'll make it pretty popular. Maybe they won't. Who knows? But it's still a fun game. It's not gonna. I don't think it's ever gonna die out. There's a strong enough community for it. <laughs> Alright, see you, Soul Spite! It's kind of like... Uh, see, like, looking at both Arknights and Austin Lane right now... I, I don't really know... About... I think probably the one I'm more concerned with is Arknights. At least globally. I don't know. Ozzelane, I think, is fine. But Arknights, I'm, I'm a little worried. I don't think it's gonna die out, but I, I do have a bit of concern. I think, I think there was a lot of... Like, during its first year, it had a lot of bumps in the road. Not necessarily because of what they did, but more of just, uh... Um, what is it? Um, there's just a lot of. I, I think the community had a lot of issues. Like, it, uh, Arknights was really popular when it first started out. Or at least it felt like it was really popular. And. I don't know. It, it, it hit a weird. It's like it hit a snag. I want to partially believe it was its community being its biggest problem. I'm not sure. But, like, I don't... I don't know. I don't see Arknights as, as uh... Traffic as much as... Maybe it's just because there's not as many creators. That might be why. Maybe there's not as many creators for Arknights as there are for AL. Because, like, I can think of, like, six, I think. Arknights creators that I am well aware of that are relatively well established, and then, like, AL, I think there's at least 10. 
And that's not including the streamers on Twitch side. I don't know. Match AL Australia almost failed on its first month in CN. Probably because it was. I, I actually did hear they were saying it was pretty. It was really nice. <laughs> I don't know. I was. It's just. It's in a. I don't know what to think of Arc, uh, Arc Knights right now. Like, I love the game itself. It's fun. I like CC. Yeah, it's challenging, but it's still fun. Um, it's actually probably one of my favorite like strategy strategy puzzle games right now to play. But I don't know. It just feels really weird. Well, uh, Ale also has, uh, as much as I don't want to admit, um, it had an advantage over Contact Collection, and I think it's because of Contact Collection choosing to stay region locked. It, again, that's their business decision. Let them do it as they see fit, but uh, Ozilane not going that route, I think, is what helped it a lot, because... Like I said, Contact Collection has a huge community. There are still a good group of people that kind of intersect between the two communities. I am technically one of them. <laughs> but... I think not, have, not having to deal with all the trouble of getting things set up for our Contact Collection just to play it, and just being like, oh, I can just play Ozzy which works that way. I think that helped it out a lot too. And it's not that, you know, I don't think, it, you know, AL's, AL's not gonna kill KC. There's no way that's ever gonna happen. KC's fan base is strong, and that's good. There's still a lot of very interesting characters in there. They're just even adding, I think, more. Uh, they've added a lot since I last played, which was before the Cola and all that were added. But. That's still a scenario where, yeah, the KC not region locking gave AL a bit of an advantage. I don't, <laughs> dojins, guys, both communities have dojins. You have so many dojin artists. I don't think that's gonna make a valid point for either side, really. It was very biased originally, yes. It was very j Japanese biased, which was still fine. It's not like it wasn't pop. It, 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 you know, it's not like nobody outside of Japan wanted to play it. I mean, there were literally guides on how to set up your computer to be able to play KC back then. So, I don't think it was necessarily that the focus of it being purely IJN ships was a, a problem. But the AL Dojins are ten times better. I can't agree with you on that. Also, because I don't know that many Dojins, but the only person I know that I do like from KC side is Camille, and Camille makes adorable artworks. Like, if there's one person I would definitely uh, praise on the KC side, it's Camille. And I know people who have been around already enough on my streams, they've probably heard this artist's name at least once or twice by now. Because they, they draw some completely wholesome artwork of some of the KC characters, and I love it. But yeah, that, it's the it's the lack of an official e global or Ian variant that I think probably is what's hurting it. But it still is a strong enough community; it's not a problem. So that's a good thing for KC. KC's community is strong, which is why I'm thinking. Uh, it's just why I'm saying the same thing of AL is going to be like KC. It's it's got a strong community, and that's probably what's going to keep it going. Though I, actually, I don't know much about where the game is now. 
I can't really speak on KC at this point in its uh, lifetime for its game because I haven't played it forever. But I'm having a lot of the same vibes I did back when I played KC. So I don't think it's too concerning. But yeah, as for, yeah, as I was talking about with Arc Knights, I don't know. Arc Knights is a little, is in a weird spot, for, I feel. And I think, uh, I think the accelerated schedule decision they recently did is probably going to hurt us a little bit. We haven't really had a break since, uh, Cinder. Alright, uh, I guess you can count, like, the, what, three or four days after Cinder before Man Mansfield? <laughs> Which I need to actually get the lore or the story videos for Mansfield out. <laughs> I'll probably do that over. At least even get that done during the weekend. New Jersey's kind of taking priority right now. Oh, I still gotta do is get the here before. Or before. I forget what it is. Archetto's event. I got all the stages recorded and everything. It wasn't that bad of an event, though, thankfully. I am, I will definitely say, I, I enjoyed, uh, <laughs> I definitely enjoyed having an E2 April. Because those stages became quite a joke. I regret that a lot. Uh, I mean, okay, let's be honest. Like, or, like I've said before, if there is going to be one collab that does get a rerun, it's Neptunia. No, no doubt that if 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 any collab in the entirety of Azulane got one, it got a rerun. It's Neptunia. <laughs> so that's kind of what I'm thinking. How about the idea of Yuki? No, should have used. <laughs> I saw that artwork. That was pretty. That was pretty high quality. I wonder where I can see the special episode. I need to see. I need to see the OVA. I have not seen it yet, or at least the announcement for it. I haven't really seen anything about the OVA actually. Uh, I want to. There's like so many shows I want to watch this from like this past season, and I'm just like. Uh, I can't find time. <laughs> Life would be so much easier if I didn't have a full-time job to deal with, but that's what pays the bills. So. <laughs> Welcome to real life. Adulting 101, I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. When you see the OVA, use headphones. I'm, I mean, that's, I usually do anyway. I don't think I've ever really played anything on a speaker. Like... I've probably gone through at least two or three pairs of headphones just using that. Is April's powerful exit? No, definitely not. Uh, but April works very differently, and that's the reason why they're not at all. I guess they can be if you if you see their difference of utility as power, which sure. Um. April's main advantage is, like, the biggest thing about April is that she is the one of the few snipers that can immediately cloak herself on deployment and stay cloaked for a, minute, for a decent amount of time while attacking. It's kind of a bit of a nasty damage, however, or n nasty advantage, but she's still vulnerable to a AoE damage. Thoughts on Cheshire. Uh, I know the PR ships are people, the ones they want me to conquer. Actually, Monarchs is uh, coming up pretty soon. The problem is, like, okay, the biggest problem with PRs, especially the Decisives, is gonna be how the heck am I gonna cover the Decisives if I don't have them at, like, Dev 30? Like, most of PR1, not gonna be a problem for me to cover. They're all pretty much Dev 30, and I've been using a good chunk of them already. The only one I haven't really used is uh, Sanri. I mean, two of them are already Dev 30 full Fate Sim. One of them is almost there. Uh, Neptune's halfway through, and Izumo Iz Izumo just started. I always did that with, with Izumo. I always. Whoa! Oh! Hey! Hey now! Sweet! 
Don't you just like how you're like casually having a conversation and then this happens and then you completely forget what you were talking about? Oh, right. Uh, but yeah, like, most. <laughs> Ika, no. Um, but yeah, like, I could do most of PR1, but when I get into PR2, I'm assuming by the time I get to that, because they're not that far away from, uh, like, the, on, like, I was looking at the list recently. Monarch, I think, is in a couple more video, is a couple of videos away. Then after that is Rune, and then Neptune. Like, they're all back to back to back to back, which is kind of handy, because I'm actually starting to work with them. Ibiki. Actually, Eva Key's not on there. That's the weird. Like I remember now, that was the weirdest thing. I was I, I forgot to mention is Eva Key is not on the list. The other five priorities from PR one it are, but <laughs> Eva Key is not. And I feel like I need to make. I feel like I need to do something about that. <laughs> I'll probably just have all the PRs together as a group. That's probably the best way to do that, to be honest. Uh, makes sense. I don't know if I'll, I'll, I'll fit her in where I feel like I, I'm where I feel comfortable She might be one of the earlier ones because the ones that I use the most The guides are a little bit easier, right? Because I know the character already Yes, I know I can do that Akashi. I am very close to full fate sem on Ibuki But yeah, I will uh, Probably make sure that I have all of them together as a group. Probably would be better to do them as a, as a group of six. Not as a group, of, not like all in one video, but like back to back to back to back in videos. Just so that way they're all relatively close to each other in terms of the discussion. Because I know there's a lot of people that really haven't even started PR yet, which is really weird. Granted, they're newer players. Actually, those doing PR1 right now are probably going to be having the easiest time. As long as they have the money, they'll be able to get their characters leveled pretty quickly. It's kind of nice, actually. Account showcase win. What do you mean, account showcase? What do you expect me to showcase? Rune video starts. Rune surrounded by a bunch of crucifixes. Uses the uses the John Tron <laughs> out of this house, out of this house. <laughs> now drop two more, man. If I could drop two more, that'd be amazing. But uh, those two more are gonna have to be before I fight the boss here, or with the last one being fighting the boss, because otherwise, I probably won't be here back unless I really want to start leveling here, but I probably will go to 12-3 afterwards anyway. I'm barely halfway through my two notes, people. Yeah, I mean, it's just a sign of, like, how long you've been playing. Also, like, if you're newer, uh, don't, like, feel bad about starting on PR1. Honestly, I would say start at PR1. There are still some really good PR1s that aren't gonna feel that. I don't know. I don't think you can really... I mean, has Monarch been... Has Monarch really been power crept? I mean, obviously FDG is FDG, but... Is there anyone that... Who, who power creeps Monarch? If there is even somebody that does. Oh, air parody. Oh, that's probably part of it. CV. Okay, fair point. <laughs> that is a good point. CVs do. It's likely worse than Marvel Polo. Okay, so, news view. But still, like, even then, 
Like, even though we're saying, like, PR4 is power creeping PR1, PR1 is still good. They're still really solid units. You're, they're not going to disappoint you. So, like, if you're a new player, by all means, I would say go PR1. Grab at least one or two of them that you would really like. Especially with them being enhanceable by coins now, it's a lot easier for you to max, uh, max dev level them now. They'll take time, just, well, I mean, they do have a lot of money, that is. How hard are we pay for standard SR now? A shot with no, uh, Polo, Pol Pol I mean, I mean the ships, not the equipment. You don't, I don't even think you can even, s can you even still get researches for PR1? I thought they removed all those. Pretty sure they dropped all of those. Alright, how are we doing? Actually, first things first. How are we doing? We were at 30 at start. We were at 30. 30%. 41. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. <laughs> we only have two, uh... We only have two ships working on this. I could switch out Perseus for, uh... I don't know, Arizona or somebody. And that's three ships counting towards that. Which is perfectly fine. Actually, Arizona's probably gonna get pretty beat up. I wish it was another healer for the U.S. Or at least for the Eagles. Or at least one that isn't... Well, okay. Vestal... Eh. <laughs> Vestal I wouldn't count. Hey, Phoenix. Can't complete. Oh, if you completed them all. Oh, so you could still get. You could still get these. As PR ones. Okay. That seems weird though. You can poi if you poi. But wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> you home from okay. Oh, this is a catch up. I didn't even realize that this was active. <laughs> How many can you get of these? For PR shift is a maximum of 300 between the four. Maximum of 250 per ship for two ships. So you get 300 for PRs, for DRs entirely. But 300 between the four. Maybe this would be a good time to start pumping on this. This is just a cumulative. Okay. Yeah, I'm just looking at this required BPs at 631 and slightly crying on the inside. <laughs> And uh, sitting over here looking at this and seeing 370 and being like, oh, okay, that's not that bad. And then looking back at this and crying again. This is why it's so hard to want to work on decisives. <laughs> and the fact that I've had Friedrich for so long over Ozma, and they're only 19 blueprints away from each other. Uh. Yes. It's not even that, though. Like, it has nothing to do with the no-life thing. You have to sit here and wait these timers out for some of these. The DR required prints include Fate Sim, despite them not having it. But yeah, like, 
Granted, I get it. They're decisives. They're very, very, very powerful for what they are. But still. <laughs> As mean. Oh, man. No, we're also not going to zoom in on Cheshire anymore. She gets head pads. Ain't going to be that mean. What? Oh, wait, what? Oh, you're done. Hello, who are you? Who are you? A pound. Okay, not too bad. Accuracy... Eh, it's not the worst. That's just HP. I don't know. That's not a bad one. I mean, it's... I don't think it's beating this pound. Which already has that. Also has this, which is firepower and HP. And then also has... Well, that's AA. That's alright. This is three luck, 10% more XP from battles. Dog doesn't have... No, because I honestly keep forgetting it about it sometimes. Like, I still have a while to go. I need 60 XP for it. Like, I completely... Uh, I kind of completely forget about it. To be honest, it's one of those, like, Meowficers are something I spend so little time do messing with anyway. Yeah, the little... I'll be doing those things as they pop up on this. If you count those as the daily, unless there's another mission, which I'm not aware of, but... I don't think there is, is there? Yeah, there's just these three. I haven't built today? Okay, we're gonna end on a build. Alright, chat. Which pool? Pick the pool! Manual abuse, wait, what? My DR Pitcher Prince will put me nearly dev 30. That's nice. I'm gonna probably be like dev 20 something. Special, special light for safety. God, if I get a light for Santa, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... It's not that I haven't been doing them. It's... Well, okay, it's... I do them when I log in, because it's one of the things I can re generally remember to do. There was one day I just completely forgot to log in, but I didn't log into anything, because I just passed out for some reason. Like, I passed out... <laughs> from just being exhausted from work and then just kind of slept through the rest of the night. Uh, that was a long day. Wasn't It was nothing to do with YouTube. Just straight up, I was tired from work. So, it seems like Special Pool wins. Which... Alright, I don't even know what's in here. Boom. 210. That's... Bogue? Is it a Bogue? Depends on who you haven't got, really. It doesn't matter. Hermes. Bogus the other one. <laughs> I like how she actually has, like, the card deck and everything. There we go. That's our. Yeah, we wish. Look at that RNG. <laughs> Alright. So. I think. Still. Alright, actually, no, no, hang on. I know what we can end on. Where is. Where is our new girl? Where is Hiyo? Hiyo. Way down here at the bottom. Don't mind the Sandies. I gotta get Oite level. She seems like a nice girl. Warning about her sister, whatever that concern is. Ah. Well, you can now. <laughs> you definitely can now. <laughs> I've got her at my face. Eh? 
You're what's bigger? Eh? Okay. You, p you guys in your you chat. You guys really want me to hit this one, don't you? This is this is what you guys this is what you guys want, huh? <laughs> True. Yes. <laughs> what animal is she? That's a good question. I don't actually know. What is she trying to be? Like, what is she like a bunny? That's an owl. How many sandies do I have so far? 38. I have 38 sandies. <sighs> cow. Yeah, she's totally a cow. Kashino totally uh, looks exactly like her. <laughs> Based on a certain owl. Okay. Uh, all right, you degenerates. There. That was it. These are almost the same. <laughs> These are almost the exact same lines. These are almost the exact same lines. ハトも関西関西機乾パン皆整備の時間だな順位をあの毛柄はしはあお前のことじゃないえ、オッケー。Let's <笑> Flying Hawk was being built as a luxury liner before her conversion. For her conversion, really. 510 likes? She needs more. She has 585. You didn't get much more out of that, buddy. I'm here because my ships died too quickly on later maps. Oof. Alright, what is this about? Eagle Defiance. When this ship launches its first and second airstrike, launches an additional level 10 special airstrike. I will have to see what that airstrike is. But yeah. That's that's it. She doesn't really have much to her. Okay. And what's your setup? Oh wow, you're you're a light wow, you're a light carrier with three Wow, light carrier with the standard trio. Okay. Two, so one, one, two, two, one, two. Okay. <laughs> uh, two, three, two. Two, three, two. Okay, got it. Two, three, two. And those aren't gonna change. Okay, efficiencies. Three percent, five percent, fifteen percent at best. So, hundred, hundred twenty, 120, and hundred ten. It's okay, I guess. I don't know, she, I guess she's a rare. It's not like she's gonna have a huge impact here. Plus two DBs. They wanted to really make sure she got her dive bombers, I guess. I already did guild stuff today, though, Ika. I did my guild stuff already. I can't do anything else. So, alright. Anyway, I have been on for long enough. <laughs> it's four and a half hours already. So, 
Anyway, uh, next stream is gonna be on Saturday, as uh, the, uh, actually the stream should be available, so you guys can go check out what time it's out, uh, what time it's gonna be live. I believe I have it set for 1 o'clock on Saturday, just to make sure. Uh, if I do have to change that, I'll let you guys know, but I think it it's, should be set in stone. Um, I'll be covering the Arknight stuff, mostly working on the day f on day four's daily then, as well as uh, working on the permamap. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll be able to uh, get somewhere on that. We'll see. <laughs> so, uh, other than that, I'm going to be finalizing some stuff on New Jersey. I'll probably have to finish that in the morning because it is pretty late and I got stuff to do in the morning because of work. So, anyway, hope you guys had a good time. Well, I definitely did enjoy it. Feel bad for for uh, Sidruga, but hey, she's getting her break now. Um, if you haven't finished it yet, get that 10k. Definitely worth getting that one auxiliary equipment. It definitely really is, especially once you have Ozma. But until then, I'll see you guys again on the next video or live stream that I do. Well, <laughs> and until then. Have a good night, morning, evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you guys later. Nyan Nyan no midi accessory. Danna sama mo tsukete tsukete. Chotto dake. Session miseru dake de ii itte ba.